888-222-2237. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, October 29th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. A review by county prosecutors of drug arrests involving the Ferguson police officer who killed an unarmed 18-year-old man has led to the dismissal of a half-dozen felony cases. A spokesman for St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney Bob McCullough said Tuesday that six felony drug cases involving Officer Darren Wilson won't be prosecuted, mainly because Wilson missed several court appearances after going into hiding following the death of Michael Brown in early August. The drop cases include a felony marijuana possession charge against 28-year-old Christopher Brooks that was thrown out on Monday after a judge had agreed to put the case on hold when Wilson missed a late September preliminary hearing. Wilson had received a Ferguson City Council commendation for his role in Brooks' arrest. Biotechnology Corporation Syngenta faces three new class action lawsuits from farmers after Syngenta's genetically modified corn hybrids contaminated the Chinese corn supply, resulting in millions of dollars in losses. Farmers in Illinois, Iowa, and Nebraska filed suit shortly after two of the country's largest grain exporters, Cargill and Transcoastal Supply, filed similar lawsuits. The legal actions are related to Syngenta's GMO corn that began selling in the U.S. in 2009. In November 2013, Chinese officials found traces of Syngenta's hybrid corn in shipments from the U.S. The Chinese have since rejected U.S. shipments of corn. The farmers say Syngenta is at fault for the rejected corn and for the financial losses. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show, at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, October 29th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. It's the Onion Radio News. A crazy man announces plans to stand in a doorway and yell at cars. This is Doyle Redland reporting. Dennis Fife, an Alhambra, California crazy man, held a press conference today to announce his intention to stand in the doorway of the office building at 2600 Kenilworth Avenue and yell at cars all day. At approximately 9.30 a.m. on the day in question, shortly after I finish lunging at dogs, I will proceed to the front steps of the Simmons building and yell loudly for nine hours. The screaming will be broken by a 15-minute fit of rigid catatonia, most likely in the late afternoon. Among the topics Fife plans to address during his nine-hour rant, the ace of diamonds, bookshelves, the man trying to kill him, plastic bags in trees, Trapper John M.D., and papers, papers everywhere. Royal Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want. All you have to do is dial in toll-free. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you there. There's a huge viral video uh, right now. Uh, Chris Cantwell, Mark, both with me. I'm Ian uh, here tonight. You guys both brought this in uh, tonight as something to talk about. So definitely something we need to discuss. This viral video of a woman walking around the streets of, was it New York City? It, yeah. this? it looks like it. New yeah. York City. So uh, she's uh, allegedly being harassed by men on the streets. And we can get into that here in a moment. Uh, We're going to go to your calls and thoughts, of course, about whatever's on your mind. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. Plus, we get the chance. I got the latest John Cantley video as well. Another one. Uh, Not the one where he's walking around as a news reporter, but one of the ones where he's uh, in his orange shirt, allegedly being held captive by ISIS and reading into a teleprompter uh, into a camera. So he's, uh, he's back. That's the one that we haven't aired yet. We can do that, too, later on tonight. Plus, the police cracking down on Femin in France. You may recall Femin. They make headlines around the world for their topless protests. 
that frequently result in violence from the police. Uh, there's that in the news and more. So your calls and thoughts are welcome. We start things out here with Crash Gordon on on the uh, Skype line here. Skype, by the way, you can Skype us at LRN.FM. Uh, Crash, you're calling from Illinois. Howdy. Hey, I just wanted to make a couple quick points about warrant canaries that you guys were discussing a couple weeks ago. Can you tell our audience what a warrant canary is before you do that? A uh, warrant canary is a statement that uh, some organization will make to the effect that they have not been contacted by the government and required to give out information about their uh, their customers, their friends, their relationships, and so forth, so that in the event that they get one of these national security letters that forbids them to talk about the national security letter, they just stop saying that they haven't received one and that way people will know that they've received one. It's like a code to let people know that they have received a national security letter. Well, it could be a code. It could also just be something as simple as having a statement on the bottom of your website that says we have not received a contact or request by the federal government and then removing that. But that's essentially spycraft. What is that, a drop or something like that? I mean, it's it's very similar. It's, it's applying spycraft to everyday life. I, I feel, like the idea. Yeah, yeah, it's a fine idea, but I feel like it'll be circumvented uh, either way. Like the feds will some find some way to to call removing speech speech, and so therefore, you know, they'll charge you with whatever crime they will charge you with for violating the national security letter. Nonetheless, what were your thoughts you wanted to share about it? Well, you you kind of touched on both of them there. The first one is that a warrant canary mm -hmm. doesn't. The, the discussion last time kind of kind of devolved into what sort of secret handshake uh, Free Talk Live could use if they were going to implement a warrant canary, like having Barry Manilow for the bumpers or the return of Manwich or something like that. <laughs> uh, and the first point I wanted to make is that you already made is that a warrant canary doesn't really have to be a secret handshake. The, the idea of it is that it's a, it's a public statement. So it could just be you know, a, a two-second thing at the top of every hour saying, hey, we haven't been contacted by the feds, something like that. Let me uh, uh, let me go on record right now that if I if I am ever in a situation where I have a gag order and my warrant canary is going to be that, I, like, I promote some feminist group. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the, the second point I wanted to make is, is kind of a combination of a challenge and perhaps a conspiracy theory. And that is that after the discussion and the suggestion from listeners that Free Talk Live might want to implement a warrant canary, the fact that you haven't might indicate that you've already received one of these national security letters. Do you think for a second I could stop Ian Freeman from uh, <laughs> telling the world that he, he – this is like – he has little dreams, nocturnal emissions about receiving a national security letter. <laughs> uh, and I can no. assure you that this man would – the first thing that he'd do is wait till 7.06 p.m. so he could flip on the microphones and said, ladies and gentlemen, I have received a national security letter. It, there's no way to stop him. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that Free Talk Live would necessarily need a, a warrant canary because <laughs> I, I, I I think it would be just too hard to keep Ian quiet. I don't think you could. <laughs> I, I don't think I would even try. It's not even it's it's not it, it would be not authentically Ian. <laughs> OK, so, Ian, have you received a uh, national security letter? No, definitely not. OK, well, that's a warrant canary for today, then. That's all I got. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks, Crash, for the call. You'll keep on trying, though. Don't, don't worry, know, guys. Man. I don't know. I mean, the federal government's a pretty big gang, and they do some pretty awful things to people. I can't say for sure how I would feel about that, because that'd be a pretty serious uh, threat, and I would want to have legal representation in line uh, before I did anything like that. Okay, so you're saying whether you would do it the, in, the, the day that you got it? Uh, yeah, I would probably not have enough time to get legal representation on board. Do you uh, think you would do it within two weeks of receiving we'll it? We'll just we'll just get Dana Nolan to uh, to challenge jurisdiction on it. <laughs> that's, that's an inside <laughs> joke, uh, Chris Cantwell. We can't do that on the on the oh, radio. You're talking about some of the uh, the folks who are yeah, so advocates sovereign of citizen friends of the mine. Sovereign citizen stuff. Um, yeah. So no, I, I, I feel like I would want to be pretty cautious with that one, Mark. I mean, I understand that, uh, I appreciate where you're I'm coming really from. I'm really surprised. I, I appreciate. I, mean, I really can't, be I can't believe the words that are coming out of your mouth. I, that, that is not the Ian Freeman that I believe that I have worked with for 12 years. I'm kind of, okay. I'm kind of glad to hear it though. I, I, I'm glad to see some self-preservation on Ian's part. I, I'm. Well, you never seen me go up against the feds, right? So you mm -hmm. don't know how I would behave in that case. I mean, I don't want to end up in, uh, you know, wherever they're keeping Bradley Manning. That doesn't sound like fun to me. That's not. Gonna, they're not going to put me in the Keen Spiritual Retreat over no. this one. No, nope, they're not. No. Nope. 
So uh, toll-free number tonight, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. There's a, a viral video that is going all around the Facebooks and elsewhere on the Internet. Uh, honestly, I haven't watched it yet, but it sounds like the two of you guys have. I'm furious. And Chris Cantwell, you wrote an article about it at ChristopherCantwell.com. I so sure did. It was very upsetting to you. Uh, it's being shared quite a bit. Mark, you brought it in t- uh, to talk about tonight, but you said it's not worth playing on the air, uh, which was a surprise to me. Is that because the I audio didn't say is that. bad? The, the truth of the matter is it wasn't worth playing on YouTube. It wasn't worth <laughs> recording. It was complete nonsense. No, that was Cantwell's uh, advisement. I wouldn't make that uh, claim. I wanted you to watch it, and mm-hmm. uh, we didn't mm-hmm. get a chance for you to do that. So... Um, but it's what, less what than is two it? minutes. What I mean, we it? could do it. It's a video. They they rig up a situation where there's a guy who walks in front of this woman. This is New York City. People are walking all yeah. the time. Seeing a person walking in front of another person is not suspicious in any way. So a backpack's rigged up to sort of videotape this woman. I see. So in the a way that, not obvious. So you can see what's going on to her and behind her. Okay. She's carrying audio. She attractive. Uh, she's a very attractive woman. Okay. Um, she is thank wearing you. very tight clothes. She is wearing pretty tight clothes, uh, sort of a – but, I mean, she's got the boom, boom in it, in it, right? Like, the, there's nothing she could do to not look this way shy she, of a she burka. Could, yeah, she could wear a winter coat. I mean, it looked a little warm out for that. But, I mean, you know, yeah, she's 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 got assets, right? I mean, she's very walking, well endowed in, in front and back. The guy it's, walking next to her is wearing a wife beater, one of those A-type shirts. So I don't yeah. get the – I don't know what the temperature is. It's cool out today, but this was probably taken, you um, know, a month or two what ago. What is the name of the video? Uh, the, Just search uh, YouTube for street harassment video if okay, you want to yeah. see it. It should be the first results. There's the that's the name of the channel that it's on and the video oh, wow. it, itself. Okay, has, so this uh, is like a this is a push. This is a political yes. uh, movement. It's f- it's a it's a radical feminist ten, outlet. Ten hours of walking in NYC as a woman. Is ten the hours. And this is first off but the video is two minutes. It's biased as it could be. Right. So this is important. There's six hundred minutes in ten hours. Mm-hmm. They couldn't get more than two minutes, and it, it isn't two minutes. It's about a minute and a half because there's some video of them sort of strapping on the camera, and then there's some vi- some stuff at the end where they say, hey, send us money uh, because we're going to stop this kind of harassment. And I've got to say, this is an excellent video. This is well produced, and you are moved emotionally by what occurs in it. The person who edited this did a fine job. Consider that they edited 600 hours Excuse me, 600, 600 minutes. minutes of, of uh, video down to a minute and a half worth of what they're calling harassment. Now, and what they got in that t- minute and a half was a bunch of people saying, hello, beautiful, How's you? how are you doing, have a nice evening. Yeah, God bless you. There was a lot of God bless you's, which I thought was really sort of weird. No, I don't Were know there many- any explicit call-outs about her breast size or no. booty no. or no. anything like that? Not a single one. And the, there, there was were— one- the, what, there was one guy, and what I could see is the only white guy that I could tell um, in this is um, is he goes nice, and the way <laughs> he says it, it is it is abrupt. You know what I mean? Like right. nice. And right. It's not like I've never done something what like that was, either. I want to know what was moving about this to you, Mark. Uh, you said it was a moving video. We'll come back with more here in moments. This is Free Talk Live, eight fifty five four fifty free. Share your thoughts. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today is October 29th, 2014. Gold opened at 1223.40. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1268.34, 634.17 for a half ounce, or 317.09 for a quarter ounce. That's 1268.34, 634.17, and 317.09. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while 
Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 357 you can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and we will take your calls about anything that you would like to discuss here. The toll-free number is 855-453. That's 855-450. 3733. You can join us online at freetalklive.com. We're talking about this video that has been all over the place, and I just watched uh, during the during the break there what you guys were talking about earlier, the this Hollaback group. Uh, we, we can talk more about what that is and what they allegedly stand for here in a moment uh, that has come out with a video. It's less than two minutes long, so it's easy for people to watch. Yep, and consumable. Uh, it's it's allegedly from the source from 10 hours of recording a woman walking on the streets of New York City and, uh, you know, ostensibly what people said to her in the process of her walking around. Men. There wasn't a single woman involved in this well, besides at, her. At the very least, they didn't include any females yep. uh, saying anything to her in the in the video. And so I just I'm going to go through some of this video. It really isn't worth playing on the air because it's a, there's a lot of street noise, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, it, this is bothering NPR. One of the nice things about this video is that it is closed captioned. So everything that is allegedly said uh, is shown on screen as well as uh, as well as spoken. So I'm just gonna play some of this here. And uh, so how you doing today? I guess not good. Smile, someone says to her. What's up, beautiful? Have a good day. Another. You know, this is several cuts already. Hey, what's up, girl? How you doing? Somebody's acknowledging you for being beautiful. You should say thank you more. For real? God bless you, mommy. M-A-M-I. Damn. Hey, baby. Hey, beautiful. How are you this morning? And have a nice evening. So we're now about halfway through uh, the video here, and the allegation is that 
this is harassment. This oh, is- the horrors that these American women have to suffer through, right? Like, all these guys want to talk to me. It's well, this so isn't, miserable. This isn't American women's problem, and that's what they want to frame this as. This is a prop. This is beauty privilege, uh, okay, that, that's going on here. Um, this Fat, ugly women have different problems than what this lady has. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that we don't all have problems. We absolutely all have problems. If we're talking about street harassment— I'd like to talk about the street harassment I deal with whenever I go to city uh, cities and even in the, the city of what Keene. What do you deal with? I'm dealing with people asking me for money all the time. Hmm. What's the difference? They come up to me. I, could I feel threatened because somebody that I don't know that uh, looks like they don't have much to lose is asking me for money? Well, You're darn right I can they're, feel threatened. They're not, they're not asking you for money. They're just complimenting your wealth. <laughs> <laughs> well, often what they'll try to do is they'll try to strike up a conversation. It's pretty obvious what these guys are about, right? Like these guys are spinning the lotto wheel of... Uh, of, uh, of of evolution, seeing if they're going to hit the jackpot, and they might as Hoping well to stop her and have her talk to them. Yeah, right? that's that's what it comes down to. And if you were walking around the street and somebody says, "Hey, step over here, win ten thousand dollars by spinning the wheel, no charge." You might spin the wheel, and that's all that's going on here. They're just spinning the wheel. They've got a one in ten thousand, one in a hundred thousand chance of this working. I've seen this work, and that's the problem. Is I've seen guys manage to. Why get, is that a problem? Well, because it's a problem for every other woman. It's not a problem for women. I'm sorry. They need to stop crying about this, and I really get annoyed by it. It's like, oh, eh, all these guys want to screw me. I'm sick of hearing people complain about this. I wish that this was my biggest problem, right? Well, it's not a problem, but they want to whine about it because this is how good their lives are now, right? That well, their big problem is that people want to talk to them on the street, and they want to pass a law to stop people from doing it. It's disgusting. I suspect you're right. I suspect there's a law being passed. But consider for a second that too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Like puppies are great to play with for 15 mm-hmm. minutes. When you're um, when you have to live in the same house with a hundred of them, you're ready to kill a puppy. Um, so you know, I mean, this is what it's come down to. Yes, when when you don't get much attention, when I, if the few times that I've been harangued on the street by a woman, and I've been probably harangued as many times by a woman as I have by a man, um, you know, for sexual purposes, the few times that it's happened to me, I just kind of chuckle and go along my way. That's cute. You know, like I'm... I, I'll take a compliment. I mean, wait, it doesn't right. bother me. I'll go in the alley with him. I'm, I don't care right. if it's well, a guy, see, call, you know, <laughs> saying that he likes that's my butt the, or whatever. But that's three but men talking. But I'm a talking. sleaze. It's different. That's three men talking. You don't have the chance of a venereal disease the same way. Way, you don't have the chance of pregnancy what does causing VD you the problem. Have anything to do with this? If I if I go and I streets. and if I hook up with some random girl who invites me into an alley, I probably stand a pretty good chance of getting an <laughs> STD. I say, indeed, In you case, do. You know what I'm saying is is that it doesn't seem like as much of a wonderful compliment to. A, a beautiful woman who gets these things mm-hmm. in the course of ten hours gets a hundred hundred of them. Like consider it, it's it's not as uh, as delightful. And that's all I'm saying here is that. But you know the. Oh, woe is me. I mean, being a beautiful woman comes with a lot of perks. It does. I mean, you can go into a, a bar and have people buy you drinks. You can, you know, people are waiting Oftentimes on you. Oftentimes you can go into a bar. Consider that uh, beautiful women are more likely to get into the, the nicest clubs out there. They're going to get bumped to the front of the That's line true. and all that stuff, they too. They get privilege in a lot of different areas. It's easier to get a job as a beautiful woman. Sure. It's easier to get promoted as a beautiful woman. Yep. I mean, so... Oh, you know, yeah, there's some downsides to it. The, one of the downsides is that people treat you like you're a beautiful woman, and they say things, apparently, when you're walking down the street. Yep. This is the price uh, that you pay right. for it's, getting all the benefits. Yeah, for right. going to a bar and not paying for a single drink over the course of the evening and getting all the attention that you want when you want it. And the thing is, look, the, when, and I, what I said in the article was, you know, what this woman is complaining about, now she's an actor, she's being a, um, a miserable person in this video on purpose, right? Like okay. she's always walking walking around scowling and stuff like that. But the fact right. of the matter is, if a woman's walking down the street and a man who appeals to her says something to her, she's going to stop off and talk to him and be, you know, and make a thing out of it, right? The the problem with the, the, the complaint here is that these men are not up to their standards, right? They're complaining. They don't want to criminalize, uh, you know, flirting with a woman because they certainly don't want to be put in a position where they have to be vulnerable and approach men, right, and risk getting rejected themselves. They don't want that to happen. What they want is to be able to point their finger at any man man who talks to them and snap their fingers and have them locked in a cage. Right. This is about shut up. 
uh, is what it comes down to. I mean, mm-hmm. this is a freedom of speech issue, and I don't like what you're saying to me. And I, I get why somebody feels hassled. I don't want to use the term harassed because this is not harassed by a legal definition. No, not even close. I mean, the definition of harassment, as I understand it, and it may be different in New York, but uh, at least the New Hampshire statutes, that's where we're doing the show from, criminal harassment has to do with being told to stop. So if I keep contacting you, Chris Cantwell, and you get sick and tired of hearing from me, well, that Ian Freeman, he really is annoying, and I've got better things to do than constantly take his phone calls and tell him, no, I don't want to have sex with him, uh, that, uh, you know, that that would be harassment. That was if a you, private matter. We if, shouldn't be putting that yeah, out on right. the air. Uh, <laughs> if, if you told me to stop, and then I continued, <laughs> if you made it in no uncertain terms that I was to stop contacting you, stop calling you, right. and then I were to continue to do what you've asked me to not do, that, as I understand it, is the definition of criminal harassment. Yeah, so in New York, it is a little bit different. What th- what they're talking about on this video does not meet criminal standard for harassment in New York. I, I was, I That's was, why they would need a new law. I was arrested for harassment in New York after hanging up on somebody a dozen times. I was accused of harassing when someone who was calling, calling me. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so I was arrested for this. I ended up beating the case, but this actually wow. happened. And so New York, you know, is a little bit crazier than New Hampshire, but not quite as crazy as these people want it to be. And they are absolutely pushing legislation to make this illegal. I want to hear more about that legislation here in a moment. Plus, we'll give you some more of the quotes from the video. We're only uh, about 40 seconds through what is a less than two-minute video. Uh, The toll-free number here, 855-450-FREE. Are you a lady and are you offended? Do you feel like this is harassment and it needs to stop? We'd love to hear from you. It's Free Talk Live. With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body, normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu-fighting products. Also explore our Herbal Healer Academy Correspondence Courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. 
Keenvention is coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, attend social events like the costume party. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, James Robin Hood Cleveland, Rich Paul, and Free State Project President Carla Garrick will be keynoting. And we'll have all kinds of panels, including the new Cop Block panel and the new Movers panel hosted by the outlaw Josie Wales. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at Facebook.LRN.FM. That's Facebook.LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, what is Holla Back? This is the group that's behind the video that has been going big on YouTube. It's called 10 Hours of Walking in New York City as a Woman. It's about 9.4 million views at this point. It was uploaded yesterday, so uh, it's going very, very well for them as far as uh, views and is concerned on this. Uh, the allegation is that walking down the street as a woman in New York City results in people saying nice things to you. And maybe a couple of creepy guys walking by you. Uh, that's what we see in this two-minute long video that was sourced from 10 full hours of source video of them walking around with this lady wearing, what do they call this, a crew neck? Yeah, she said a crew neck t-shirt and jeans, but you can see that these are very, t it's a very tight fitting outfit. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely designed to show off her breasts and her butt. And it's an intentional thing because she wants video of guys trying to talk to her. And out of 10 hours, they get, hi, how you doing? Hello, beautiful. And somehow that's worthy of 9 million views on YouTube. And that's what it's just man-hating feminists just trying to demonize men over absolutely nothing, and it's nauseating to me. See, I think that uh, it... I can see why women... Women many times are going to uh, empathize with this this woman's situation. Mm. Like they're going to be getting a lot of attention, especially the more attractive, the more attention they get. Uh, but certainly... Every, I think most people have got some kind of uh, accosting on the street at some point if you spend enough time on the street. So, um, accosting means especially ask, if you're walking past millions of people in New York City. I think everybody gets unwanted attention on the street. So uh, that's c kind of what I'm seeing here, and I can see why you don't want that particular attention. That's fine, but really, what's the solution to it? And is the solution to ban people from saying good morning? God bless you. That's what these people would have happen. I'll give you a few more examples of what was said here in a moment. But first, free coffee for you. Everybody needs to just calm down with a delicious cup of coffee. Coffee doesn't help me calm down. It's really it not. It doesn't no. even make any sense. Well, <laughs> shade-grown coffee has uh, <laughs> isn't as uh, strong in, as far as caffeine goes, so it might be helpful in that realm. At least less so. Less less uh, uh, acerbic in that in that realm. Eight, uh, it's hundred <laughs> percent organic, top one percent grade arabica beans. You can go get a free pound at coffee.freetalklive.com, and we'll use the proceeds that are sent back to us, uh, designated for microloans to give microloans to people around the world who are dealing with a lot bigger problems than people hollering at them on the street. Uh, <laughs> By helping them get a hand up in life. So it's coffee.freetalklive.com. So she's walking down the street. It's 10 hours of video. The video has been cut down to a minute 56. We'll give you some more quotes. Damn, says someone to her. Damn. Hi, beautiful. Says another. Sexy American Eagle, which is the brand that she's wearing. Hello. Good morning, says a guy. God bless you. Have a good day. All right. And then apparently the same guy actually walks next to her for... About five minutes, yeah, there's, according to there's, the video. There's two guys in the video who follow her for a little while, and I'd say that that's definitely out of line. But at the same time, she's not doing anything to try to get rid of them either. Mm -hmm. She's not saying, hey, not leave, saying, me, leave alone. me alone. I'm not interested. Yeah. She's purposely being silent and ignoring them, you know, and... and 
I don't know what impression these guys are getting. I mean, I think I have the social skills to realize that this woman's not interested and leave her alone at yeah. that point. But, you know, maybe these guys are Asby. I don't know. And, well, it, it, it also it looks like a conflict of domination. Sort of, I'm going to get this woman to say hello to me. I'm going to get her to say something. You know, hello, mm. get out of here, kiss my butt or something. And uh, that's a that's a domination conversation. And I'm not saying it's not had by men. And I'm not saying it's not had by women. I'm just saying that well, this is kind of like what are they trying to what i feel i'm being shown in this video is that women are dealing with a lot of harassment the rest of you people suck and the fact is is that i deal with harassment on the streets all the time it may not be sexual usually it's about hey can i get some money but why is that it somehow this isn't better sexual or either I mean, this is – there's not a sexual statement basically made from what I've seen so far. Calling someone beautiful isn't a statement about sex. I'll go ahead and acknowledge your certain connotations. There's the one guy who walks by her and is like, nice, you know, yeah. and he's staring at her okay. boobs when he does it. There's the guy that goes, damn, damn, you know, okay. and like right. he's, he's, sa he's saying that he's, you know, amazed by her. It's reckless you know. eyeballing, right? You yeah, it's reckless eyeballing. You can certainly extrapolate from those comments that, yes, those men would like to have sex with this woman, but – you could also presume that about most of the men who have said something to her while she's walking down the street. But that doesn't mean that saying damn is a sexual comment. That right. doesn't mean that saying damn is a is sexual harassment. Well, if I, they were saying something about like, hey, I want to do -da 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 your breasts yeah. or like something. Motorboat your yeah. chest, yeah. I mean, you then know. that would be a <laughs> little bit more, you know, <laughs> that yeah. would be a little yeah. more definite about what the whether that was sexual harassment. And they're not saying it was sexual harassment, right? They're saying this is street harassment. That's what they're saying in the video, street harassment. If you if you look, the, the website, it, the website goes into it's all sexual harassment, and you know, the, the, it's the, the, this really ill-defined term that you know now saying hello, good morning, beautiful, God bless you, have a nice day is now sexual harassment, and that's the connotation that they're trying to make, and it's not uncommon, right? I mean, you see this with all, all of these feminist outlets, all of these, you know, even the Kathy Reisenwitzes of the world, the ones who try to pass themselves off as feminist liberals. They do this all the time. They try to turn everything into sexual harassment and some kind of a gender issue, and it's nauseating. You know, um, I got to say that this feels like sexual harassment to me. Um, and that, you know, it's not harassment it sexual in the legal harassment sense. and unwanted sexual advance? I think these are sexual advances. That's the way I see Saying them. Saying good morning, beautiful, God right. bless you. I'm, oh, no, I'm God only claiming. God bless you, mommy. How you doing? How you doing? Good? Well, I want to know. I want to know how Smile. many. Smile. I want to know how many. Uh, this one, the one that you're looking at right now, he says, I just, I just saw $1,000. $1, <laughs> I, I love that. I think that that's, you Damn, know. girl. I could, I could argue that that's a little demeaning. Like, you know, <laughs> hey, I could sell you for 1000 bucks. I mean, that's kind of nasty. <laughs> I didn't even know what it meant. I, mean, I thought it was just clever. Well, <laughs> he's out there. He's out there in like this, like, purple pimp suit too he's a pimp? you know okay. he's out there like so oh mommy i could sell you you know he's, like that suggesting that she's a thousand dollar hooker okay and i, I wouldn't pay a thousand dollars to sleep with the woman but you know i mean i don't have a some thousand guys have more money my wife isn't going to give me a thousand dollars to sleep with her so it doesn't really matter um i think that this uh, what i what if the you problem think this is, is sexual harassment you're you're essentially to toting their line i don't think okay so i think it's sexual harassment but i don't know what you do about it Right? So, uh, and, and, okay, harass You can say, me. leave me alone. You do nothing. You, you she didn't keep say on that walking, once. And she didn't, she didn't say anything on purpose. She did nothing to try to, to get these it guys to leave her alone. It was her job to alone. stay silent. And most of, it, most, most of it was just as she passed by, right? Most of it wasn't even, you know, like I said, there's two guys in here who followed her. I think that was out of line. I think she should have turned around and said, hey, leave me alone. Yep. You know, stand up for yourself. If you want to empower women, maybe you should tell them to do that instead of trying to pass legislation. Legislation to uh, you know punish guys for d thinking that you're nice to look at, uh, but you know that I mean, ultimately that's what it seemed like the one guy was doing. Uh, there's the first, there's two, the two guys. The first one simply he says one thing to her in the very beginning, and then he just walks with her for five minutes. At yeah. least that's what you they show. Maybe he said other things, but they didn't show that. Yeah, I that's think they would have. I think they would have included it if he was talking. Because, it's I mean, it's creepy, no doubt. And I think that he was doing that because you know he liked what he saw. He wanted to keep looking rather than to just have her pass him by. And she gave him no indication that that was a, a problem. You know. Well, 
I and think it, that not speaking to him is plenty indication that she's not interested. And she was walking around the entire video. You sh- you see, she has this scowl on her face. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, anybody like honestly, like she's a she's a very attractive woman. But uh, <laughs> you know, she's to, to see yeah. her looking like that, she just looks like a stuck up. I can't. I don't. You know, oh, when in doubt, leave it out. Um, <laughs> I, but she's just terrible. I yeah. wouldn't want to be this woman's friend. And the funny thing is, too, when I posted my article, a couple of guys posted um, screenshots of the comments on her Facebook profile, right? So she's on Facebook. I linked to her Facebook profile in my article. And um, when she posts it, she says, uh, oh, the shot in the beginning made me look unattractive, right? <laughs> And then her friends are commenting underneath it. Oh, there's nothing that could make you look unattractive. You're so beautiful, and, and now it's fine. okay. It's fine when because it's, from people it's she supportive, knows. and it's you know. Uh huh. Let's go to Daniel. He's in California. You're on Free Talk Live, Daniel. Hello. Can you hear me? You are on the air. Go. Hey, so I was talking uh, with my girlfriend about this last night, and she lived in New York City for like six years. She moved out of college and paid for grad school and everything. So she had lots to say about it. I want to hear more in a moment. Hang on, Daniel. We'll bring you back. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. We'll also give you the remaining 30 seconds of the video and what things are said to this lady as she's walking around over 10 hours in New York City. It's Free Talk Live. Pop quiz, kid. You know it's at 3221 Highway 22? The new Dickinson Granger branch. You know it was there before that? Who cares? There's a Granger branch there now. Granger's got everything we need, from inventory management to safety services and solutions. They even have this handy mobile app for easy browsing on the go. Let's head over there and stock up. There's nothing I love more than a new Granger branch, kid, including you. Get it? Got it? Good. Call clickgranger.com slash oil and gas or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Majid lives in Nordavin, Armenia with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Mere days before his upcoming relocation to Denver, Colorado, four-year Chicago resident Paul Marston admitted today that he wished he had taken a little more time to truly loathe the city he has lived in for nearly half a decade. You know, I've been here for a couple years, but now that I'm finally leaving, I realize I never really got to hate this place. Marsden confirmed that in the time he's lived in the city, he never quite managed to explore his own shitty neighborhood, adding that he regrets never getting to know the stuck-up workers at the cafe down the block, never visiting the overpriced bodega on his corner, and never becoming violently ill from the food at the crappy Mexican place across the street from him. You know, I lived right next to that bar for four years, and I just wish I took more time to abhor the disgusting smell that hits you every time you walk by. I'd always heard this place blows. Guess it's a shame I never got to hate it like I should. For more on this story, check this week's Onion Review. This is the Onion News Network. 
If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, dial toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. Is this Hollaback group, as they are calling themselves, their website, iHollaback.org, are they on to something here? Are women in danger of being complimented on the streets of New York and elsewhere? <laughs> no, they're certainly they're certainly going to run into some compliments, whether or not we consider it a danger. That's the <laughs> I guess that's the question at hand. Right, that's they what say, they're saying here. They is say that this is harassment. The words at it the, the words on their website are literally this is a gateway crime. Um that something's gateway something, to what? Rape? Yeah, that that Ridiculous. opens the door for other gender based violence. And they and they, they say um, uh, catcalling street harassment is a gateway crime to other gender-based uh, violence. They're calling this violence, basically, is what they're doing. I don't have uh, women complimenting me uh, on the streets, but I have had gay men compliment me, and it doesn't bother me in the least. I, I appreciate a compliment. I don't care who it comes from. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've I've gotten harangued by a couple of gay guys, and, you know... Uh, I don't call it haranguing. Is, uh, is that... Is that what, I don't know if that's, like, a negative connotation. Hey, right? sugar. You know, like, you know, like no. a, okay. you know, accosted or whatever. You know, somebody approach you and talk to you, you know, and, yeah. you know, I don't necessarily have a problem with it, you know? I'm like, no, no, no. Not my thing, but I'll well, like Daniel gag when is, I brush my teeth. But Daniel's on the nice line to meet you. in California. He uh, talked about this to his girlfriend just recently, and I guess she lived in New York. Did you say it was for six years, Daniel? Yeah, at least six years, and it's for six years at school. And, and I presume uh, she's uh, she's an attractive uh, lady. If, well, she was. Uh, you're a she fool now. If you uh, oh, you're no, stuck. you screwed up, man. Athletic. He said, "I'm oh, sorry." Well, too many people talking over top of one another. Say again, there, Daniel. Okay, well, I said she played basketball for Columbia. So she was tall and athletic, and if okay. she went, you know, jogging through the neighborhood, you know, she would attract she gets uh, attention. Attention. Gotcha. Yeah, and I mean, she was obviously. I mean, she was like a pretty confident and physically capable young lady, and any sort of uh, possible physical altercation that came her way, she was as prepared to deal with it as as you could be. But what she told me was that the reason. She didn't like uh, responding to the unwanted um, attention. It was it in the back of her mind? She thought, you know, is this is today the day that I'm the one who gets the attention of the wrong person, and I trigger him and escalate him, and I'm the one who gets dragged into the alley and stabbed and raped or whatever. Uh oh, trigger. And obviously, that's an that's an extreme that's an extreme outcome. But uh, I mean, she's a social worker, and she's seen enough horror stories of yeah. crap like that. I mean, those, for, for her, those, those are real things. Those aren't just uh, you know scenes out of movies or whatever. And I think that's a um, an interesting point because I mean, me walking down the street, so if I think someone's following me, like I turn around, I'm looking dead in the eye, and let them know I know that they're there. And you know, anytime they want to do something, I'm prepared for it, or as prepared for it as I can. Well, be. there's an argument to be made that if somebody that is. Kind of Correct, you know? Yeah, there's a, there's an argument to be made that if somebody's saying something to you on the street that you don't like or you feel is threatening, to ignore them is probably better than to engage them. I mean, I can I can see that argument at the same time as I can see the argument that, you know, if somebody's bothering you, you need to let them know that they're bothering you. But I would say it's one thing to just be walking and passing by someone who says something. There's no reason to turn and talk to everybody that says something to you of on course. the streets. Yeah. Um, but if there's that guy who's walking next to you and continues to talk to you, then that would seem to be an appropriate time to say to somebody, hey, 
look, man, I, I'm just trying to go to work. You or know, even even with, you know, if you pass by somebody on the street who pays you a compliment, you don't want to stick around to talk to them. I mean, a, you know, a, a thank you would probably make that guy's day. Yeah, right? absolutely. You know, like, oh, thank you. You know, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm well, really well, glad that you that appreciate my losers. tight clothes. What, what I see in that, in that video is losers with nothing to do in a big city where they have a degree of anonymity. And yep. they're surrounded by busy people who do have something to do. Yep. And for them, it's like they're going fishing for some human interaction or some yep. human attention. Sure. I, I agree and with I, that completely. I see deadbeats uh, tassling people with something better to do. I, I, I disagree a little bit because I don't think there's anything showing us that these people are losers or have nothing going for themselves. They were I mean, sitting they, on the sidewalk. Well, they're, they're, <laughs> Not they're, all of them. a lot of them are walking down the street. They might be on their yep. way to go do something that if she turned around and talked to them, they'd be like, wow, I never thought you'd say anything. I don't have time. Uh, take my number off. I'll talk to you later, yeah, right? Absolutely. I mean, you don't know okay, okay. What, yeah, I, what I'm sure. I'm sure that that person you just imagined is out there, but I think you're kidding yourself if you think that, like, on a typical day in Manhattan or whatever, like everybody who's just hanging around the street, approaching random strangers, seeking conversation, <laughs> is you know on their way in between board meetings or whatever. Well, like, you know what? Break. I mean, I lived. I lived in Brooklyn, dude. I mean, I waited for trains and stuff. And you know, yeah, I try to talk to women, and sometimes I'd say, "Hey, how you doing?" And they'd keep on moving. And I'm like, "Oh, well, you're stuck under my breath." You know. Well, I mean, well, it wasn't. Do you think she singled you out for for lack of attention, or she just had something better to do, and she's not interested in whatever it is you're trying to get going on. You know, I think it's like when I, I think that when somebody that doesn't mean he's a loser though. When, that when somebody tries to talk to you, I mean, it's a certain common courtesy to respond to them. And I understand if they're just that busy. Uh, I don't well, think most don't of these women are. I'm sorry. They don't owe you a response. No I one agree. owes you a response. I think it, I no don't think, look. It's not a debt that I can collect on, but I think it's a common courtesy, right? Does anybody owe me a common no, courtesy? I mean, no, I, mean, I don't pay. Fish, I, I, if a fish doesn't bite your hook, does he owe you a wink and a nod or something? They, I mean, well, you're again, it's He's not. not a, biting. Get it's, over it. It's not as if it's a debt that I can collect on, but I do think it's a common courtesy, yeah, right? If somebody, uh, if somebody I, says I hello to me on the street, I stop and I ask them what's up. There is there's guys. I walk around Keen right now, just exercising and playing ingress, and like there's been guys who. You know, I'm, I have headphones in, and I see guys just like looking at me and trying to say something. I take my headphones out and I say, "What do you want?" And I say, "Could you spare a couple of dollars?" And I say, "No." And I put my headphones in and I keep on walking. Do I owe these guys that? No, no I don't owe not. anybody no. anything. But you know, it's like, hey, somebody's trying to talk to me. Maybe there's a reason. You yeah. know, I've never not said thank you when someone said something nice to me. Uh, thanks for the call, Daniel. I appreciate the feedback tonight. The toll-free number is eight fifty-five four fifty free. But then again, I will walk right past somebody on the street that's talking to me because i don't like what are you talking to me about on the street and now could I, be I, them saying hello how are you who or, cares i've got nothing to talk to you well, about you're you're that's the attitude that i think is uh, is uncommon around here mark and it's it shows that you're from not around here well, wait wait wait, wait. From i'm not I've talking noticed, about keen new hampshire oh, you're not i'm talking, talking about Keene. manhattan we're talking about a video from manhattan and when i go why to is manhattan, it different why is it they different don't know me they've got nothing they for don't know me. you in keen new hampshire necessarily I, I, either I, I agree with him that it's different in manhattan right if you're walking around new york city you know it is especially if you get into some of the better areas which i think she's walking through on purpose in this video right and so you know somebody you know I'm, if i'm a white guy walking through harlem and some shady guy is like hey come here for a minute i'm probably not gonna do it right <laughs> i'm not there you know i back when i used to buy drugs there i might have i'd be like but what he do you wasn't got? being specific mark wasn't being specific about what the people would be saying he was just saying he would ignore people on the streets in general now you didn't mean keen but it sounded like you were talking about everywhere so you're saying you would only ignore them in big cities is that right because if somebody says hello to me on the streets in a big city, I'm going to say hello back. It's a common courtesy to acknowledge another, another human being who's not being threatening to you. And I don't hear threats coming towards the, the lady in this video. I think that many of these people enterprise on the common courtesy. That's what I'm trying to – the point I'm trying True. to make here is that – the chances are good if they want my attention on the streets of New York or where whatever big city I'm at, and probably on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire, although I feel more comfortable in my own environment, um, that what they're looking for is money or something that fine. I'm not looking to That's give fine. them. That's fine. There's usually people handing out flyers and things like that on the streets of yep, New but York. But I don't have to take your flyer No, either. you don't have to take the flyer, and I don't take the flyers from them, but I do politely decline. I mean, I could ignore them, but you know, I give them the, cur the courtesy of a human response like i'm um, okay thanks 
if you, no. if, you if you spent a lot of time in New York, you'd probably get used to not doing that. The other thing is that there's more people begging for money than handing out flyers on the streets of New York. So mm-hmm. there are good reasons. I get to just fired more them. often than well. Then again, maybe it's Manhattan. It's probably a different. Yeah, I mean, look, I lived in Brooklyn for like a year and forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it. It's it's a thing that happens, you know. And and you know there are people who will do you harm and stuff like that. That they're saying, hey, come talk to me, or well, you know, I, I want to play three card Monty or whatever. I'm not saying you, you should. Scam Stop and talk to them in an extended conversation. I'm but, actually saying what you were suggesting earlier, Chris. Just acknowledging somebody. Yeah. Is, the, is well, a human they're going to wait. Hold on. They they know their craft in many cases, mm-hmm. and the craft is to get you to stop and have the extended I'm not saying conversation. Stop. You can just say thanks. What? I'm, See ya. I'm okay. Hi. Thanks. Well, what do you want? Like I look. I'm she past she doesn't them. have to stop as these guys are saying things to her in this video. She could just say thanks. As she's in, walking by. In the case of the guys in the video, I have never been a voluptuous D cup, okay? Never in my life. I don't know what that's like. I was I getting do know, there, however, but I'm working that stuff off. <laughs> <laughs> I do know, however, what it's like to be, you know, a white guy who looks like he might be of means or something. And in that case, you need to stop me in order to get me to take my wallet out so I can mm-hmm. give you some money. So right. you can apprise how much wallet money I have sure. in the wallet so you can call me into a corner and knock me over my head okay. so that you and your friends can take everything I own sure. and perhaps stab me in my neck. So don't go that's, into a back alley. I'm not going to, and I'm not going to talk to anybody. Out. Now, what I'd like to point out, okay. I'm just not going to talk to them. I that's owe fine. you nothing. You don't owe, yeah, that's right. You can and be so as rude to other I'm humans not as you would rude. like to be rude. You're I being, think you are rude being rude by trying to contact me on the streets for your own. If like, somebody look, says hello so, to you no, on the streets, it's not that's about not hello, rude. Ian. If you want money from me, say, "Hey, cracker, can I get some money?" <laughs> you know, like just go ahead and do it. Not everybody's a panhandler on the streets. Eight fifty-five, four fifty free. Some people just might be saying hello for the sake of saying hello. I understand you don't believe that happens in big cities very often. It's probably true that I've got to say I so mostly much. get painted by up, white free guys. Talk live. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner of his ransacked apartment, wondering what kind of nitwit steals a futon. Luckily, the Geico Insurance Agency had helped him with renter's insurance, and he got full replacement. Unfortunately, Little Jack Horner had to have his stomach pumped when he ate a six-month-old Christmas pie. Visit Geico.com to see how affordable renter's insurance can be. Talk radio generally and Free Talk Live specifically are a really inexpensive way to reach customers. All advertising is about return on investment. If you keep your investment low, you have a better chance of seeing a proper return. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations and the internet, reaching hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, October 29th, 2014. Silver is trading at $17.20 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,226 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $350. 
Antiwar.com reports the U.S. war on the Islamic State in Syria, when it hasn't centered on the offensive near Kobani, has mostly been a war on oil. Airstrikes have pounded oil wells and refineries across the territory of the Islamic State, which is also primarily oil-producing parts of Syria. It's been couched as an effort to cut off funding for the Islamic State, but the oil wells and other infrastructure being targeted are actually privately owned, and the attacks are badly damaging the civilian economy across Syria. As winter nears, prices are soaring and not just on fuel. Knock-on effects have raised the prices of almost everything, including basic food. The prices of grain are no doubt also affected by U.S. airstrikes on grain silos in the north. Even though the oil-rich East has been lost by the Syrian government to the Islamic State, much of the oil still finds its way back into Damascus through smuggling. The Islamic State was doubtless getting a cut from that smuggling, but it's not the only one paying a dear price from the U.S. attacks, and with a lot of its finances coming from taxation and extortion, the Islamic State is probably much less affected by the U.S. air war than the ordinary Syrian. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. CNN reports a medical marijuana advocate turned writing candidate for Rhode Island governor has garnered instant social media attention by smoking what she says is cannabis in a campaign video. But her media stunt comes with a more serious political message about cannabis legalization. In the 90 second video, she says, I'm Ann Armstrong and I'm going to be the next governor of Rhode Island and I hope that during my tenure I will be able to dispel a number of misconceptions about cannabis use. Armstrong, who says she smokes cannabis every day, uses it for medical purposes, and also argues that it helps her focus and communicate with people around her. In the video, she takes a hit off a pipe after insisting that cannabis users should not be ostracized or marginalized. She says it doesn't make people crazy the way you've been told. We've been lied to for a long time by our government, and something that has been essential to our health has been taken away from us. Adding, yes, I do smoke cannabis, and yes, I do inhale. Invoking former President Bill Clinton's famous Ditton in Hell remark during his first presidential run in 1992. Hi, I'm Daryl W. Perry, and I need your help to take Peace, Love, Liberty Radio on the road. During the 104-day trip, I'll be visiting at least 10 cities across the country, speaking to people about the ideas of peace, love, and liberty, while simultaneously continuing to create daily liberty media. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit tour.fppradio.com. That's T-O-U-R dot F-P-P-Radio dot com. The New York Times reports a special UN human rights investigator said Tuesday that diplomats from North Korea, in what he described as an abrupt and interesting turn of events, were now prepared to invite him to visit their isolated nuclear armed country for the first time, but only if a growing effort aimed at prosecuting North Korean leaders and other officials for crimes against humanity was dropped. The investigator, Marzuki Darusman, made the disclosure at a news conference after he presented his annual report to the General Assembly. Assembly's Human Rights Commission. Mr. DeRusman, a member of the panel that produced a devastating report on human rights abuses in North Korea early this year, said the offer for a visit, which would be unprecedented, had been made by four North Korean diplomats who had unexpectedly agreed to meet with him on Monday. North Korean diplomats have denounced the panel's report as a collection of fabrications and smears and have refused to meet with Mr. DeRusman or any other panel member. The report said that the North Korean authorities maintained a murderous police police state and a system of gulag-like prison camps that incarcerated more than 100,000 people. It recommended that the Security Council refer North Korea to the International Criminal Court for prosecution. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Hello, this is anchor Doyle Redland. I have just been informed that my 40-year contract with the Onion Radio News expired two minutes ago. A brief extension has been added to my contract to allow me to say goodbye to you, my faceless listeners. I've been reading the news out loud on the air for a very long time now, 
and the words to describe my feelings are difficult to find. Steve, what are you doing? This, this is my big moment. I'm getting the word now that you have to leave the studio right now. But where will I go? Now. Well, uh, goodbye, everyone. I'm just coming back for my hat. No, it's it's my hat. I just I just need it and I'll go. There's no need to get pussy. Moose! Rocco, I thought we were friends! This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up what you want. The topic on deck on the moment, I guess not on deck, the topic on the table uh, at the moment is the viral video nearing 10 million views. It probably won't be more, much longer than another few hours before it hits 10 million. It's at 9.4 uh, million at the moment. 10 hours of walking in New York City as a woman. Can you give me the count of thumbs up, thumbs down on there? Looks like, let's see, thumbs up. I'm not seeing that. Do I have to vote on one of them in order to see what the yeah, results Yeah, thumbs are? down the video and then see what happens. <laughs> now you got to thumbs down the video. Um, I don't see anything. I don't, so I don't know where I, that info would be real quick. I wonder if they're hiding that on purpose. Yeah, maybe you, maybe you could find that on, on your own um, yeah, when you get a chance. Up. But uh, this video, it's going big. There's, let's see, uh, a lot, quite a few people viewing it. Lots of people talking about it on uh, social media. And... The content really isn't shocking. It really isn't offensive uh, to me, but apparently to some people it is. And apparently saying things like hello and good morning and God bless uh, you. are considered harassment. Now, we're not actually playing the audio from the video. Uh, there's a second guy. There's two guys that follow her. There's one guy who just kind of follows her, he appears to be following, or not following, just walking beside her uh, silently and every so often looking over at her. Uh, and this was after he said something initially to her, and she is ignoring everyone who speaks to her on the street. Would you find that um, to be sort of threatening? That it's creepy. Yeah, okay. It's creepy. I don't know if it's I don't even like the term creepy, so I don't really know what it means. Is Would you find it threatening? No, I wouldn't say that's threatening. So what, is, what would you find threatening? Someone threatening someone. Yeah. Okay, so it has to be a verbal threat in that case. I could see somebody, like, creepily following you around a city. I could see that as It doesn't being, have to be verbal. You know, like, if you, threatening. Were to, if you were to take, like, a knife look, kind of like that knife action to your neck yeah. and go across your necks, you know, hor- horizontally, then that could be considered a nonverbal threat. Right. But, I, I you know, I, I would say that following someone around may, might border on stalking or something like that. I have the answer to my question. It's 11,000 up and 7,000 down. So, I mean, there's... Not quite as much negative reaction to this video as positive reaction, but yeah, I imagine if you look through the comments, people are tearing this woman apart. Well, I mean, it, I don't really care about what comments on YouTube and, say. And by the way, I have no, I mean, you know, so the the lady who's doing this is probably not the lady who edited the video, right? And she's, she's, it may said not have been a lady act- who edited the video. It said, right, that's what I'm saying, is she's an actress and. Like, I don't know yeah. what her relationship to this is at all. She could have been told, hey, um, you want 500 bucks for 10 hours work? Yeah, I'm not mm-hmm. sure that she has any attachment to them at all. Like, her Facebook profile is, says something to the effect of she's an aspiring actress or something like that. She might right. have been hired as an actress without a, an agenda. And, and like, you know, when you look at her, she's she's perfect for this. She's the perfect woman for this. She's very curvy. She's got... You know, a big pair and a big fanny. She's got a nice face. She's a pretty lady. And she's also, she's uh, that kind of ethnicity that could be anything. Anything Mm -hmm. from Italian to Middle Eastern to- Yeah, she's got black, dark hair. uh, You know, uh, 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 red bone or whatever whatever it is that uh, that she might be. She could be anything. She could be Puerto Rican. Who knows what she is? So she seems very accessible, Mm -hmm. yet at the same time, she's uh, she's she's got a scowl on her face, so she doesn't look look accessible in that way. But we've got Derek J on the line, and he spent quite a bit of time in cities, uh, spending a lot of uh, his life in Philly. Derek J, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. Good to be with you. Hey, good. Go ahead. So I've had a lot of thoughts about this video, and I wanted to introduce a couple of them to you. Uh, the first being that this is a 24-year-old woman who's being paid to follow a straight white man and endure advances without speaking. That's part of the agreement. That's the video that he wants to make. And just so it was, it was a male who actually uh, cut the video up. Mark had said it was a. He thought it was a lady who did it. 
You know, if you go to the official YouTube no, I didn't page claim that, for this did. broadcast, you'll see that all of the content creator, director, producer, those are all Rob Bliss. Um, and mm. she is listed, she is Shoshana Roberts. She's listed as talent in the credits. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, where Chris Cantwell seems to be implying that uh, she is being mean by not speaking back or she's doing the wrong thing, I would suggest that she's following orders from a straight white man and that most people watching the video don't even consider that. Well, I, I, your point is well taken. I'm saying uh, my, my connotation here is that the character in the in the thing is doing this thing, right? So, I mean, I know I understand that she's an actress. I, I kind of gathered that previously. But, you know, this is not uncommon. I don't think this is atypical of women walking around a city who are, like, complaining that guys are trying to talk to them, but they're treating people like crap, and they're wondering why they get, like, a negative reaction from it. Well, the thing I love about this video is that everyone seems to see what they want to see, that there's this perception thing going on where, first yeah. of all, let's acknowledge that the video is from Rob's point of view. It's not from Shoshana's point of view. You're not seeing her face uh, and seeing her interactions with these other people. You're seeing it from this man who's walking in front of her. Right, but this man is some kind of a left-wing radical. And she is a black belt. She lists that in her resume. So, you know, the people who are watching the video are assuming that she's weak, that she wouldn't defend herself. She's not speaking to them. Little do you know, she's perfectly capable of defending herself. But you would never know that because of the way she's told to act. My other thought about this video that probably wouldn't occur to most people is that she's on government property. She's on a sidewalk. This doesn't happen in Macy's. This doesn't happen in Target. At least I don't hear about these things right. happening anywhere except for the tragedy of the commons. And so let's just for a moment reflect and consider that this is happening on government property and they're not there to take care of her. Good thoughts, Derek J. Thanks for the call tonight, man. Appreciate I do think the, the, the tragedy of the commons thing that he brought up is is very poignant because, of course, if people were, you know, acting inappropriately in a, in a private business, right? If, you know, if somebody's sitting in Macy's being like, hey, 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 hey to every woman who walks <laughs> yeah, by, like the manager, very long. the manager might say, hey, get lost, loser. Yep. Uh, whereas, you know, you're out on a public city street, there's not a whole lot anybody can do about it. And the beauty privilege part of this is in the casting call, right? So this Bliss fella who did this video, mm -hmm. I don't know how many, how many did he audition? I don't know how many actresses he, he auditioned, but he he picked her. He said, this is the look that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, you know, I have no idea which actresses, aspiring actresses he passed over. The short ones, the chubby ones, the pimply ones. I'm not sure which ones they or were, maybe it was but no, she's none of those. Maybe it was no casting call. Maybe she's his girlfriend or something like that. Maybe he was just trying to screw her. Certainly possible. Let's go to uh, Jim listening in Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Jim. Hey, guys. I'd like to address this subject just from the the, the effort that seems to be going through our society to just make it illegal to be a man. Exactly. <laughs> you're a beautiful girl, you're going down the street, and you have to endure people saying, hey, baby. Okay, grow up. Are you, uh, where is I am woman hear me roar? You know, where is I'm equal to a man? It's like if I walk down the street and someone looks at me, it's microaggression, and it's a gateway, this crazy, creeping liberalism funded with billions of dollars from the Violence Against Women Act, you know, to just create normal male behavior as being abusive. I, I, I completely agree correct. with you, and that's exactly what they're doing. They're trying to turn basically masculinity into a crime. And it's, I said during the break, it's, it's one of these things that, you know, historically governments have tried to demonize minorities in order to, you know, facilitate some sort of agenda. But as they grow more powerful and they have access to more resources, they basically just widen their net. And I mean, you're, you're literally at a point where um, this feminist agenda that so infiltrated the, the government of the United States and really the whole world in large part, uh, you know, is now trying to demonize an entire gender, just trying to demonize manhood. You're so right. I mean, I'm trying to raise men in this society. I got three boys. And put them in school. The teachers are, the teachers are all women. The principals are all women. All, the, all, of, all of their professors who taught them how to be teachers are women. And so they're like, look, a boy being normal, drugging. Exactly. Well, you wouldn't say that this heckling on the street is normal male behavior, would you? I would. Heckling? 
I mean, saying good morning to someone is not heckling. Look, the reason I wanted that the these gentleman guys to answer the there. question. Look, I, I know what your guys' opinion and, and your 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 opinions are valid. I want to know what the gentleman has to say on this. What do you think about your sons acting like the guys in this video? Okay, well, I, I've got to preface that, which you know, I saw thirty minutes of this on the news tonight, and I just looked at a picture of it on the internet, so I haven't seen the ten hours. Hang on, I'm gonna. There's only, don't there's only a, the 10 hours. a minute and a half of it. Jim, I'll bring you back here in a moment. I'll share. I haven't shared the last 20 so seconds of the comments here, so we'll share some of those here in a moment, so that way can, Jim can get a taste of what some of these comments were. I wouldn't call it heckling at all. Free talk live. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done. Get a great deal. And a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Kay Oliver is part of the Tweyambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm.
This is Free Talk Live. Comments on the street. Compliments on the street. Is it harassment? Uh, is it haranguing, as Mark suggested? Or no, did you use did harangue you use and hassle? Harangue. I've used I those use, terms. I used harangue Heck, before. What is heckling? Heckling is, heckling is what heckling, 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 there you go. What is harangue? Is harangue like is harangue a bad thing? Is that I thought that's like a you know yeah. approach or something? We probably should stick with um, you know me using the term hassling because uh, haranguing is a little colloquial. And to harangue is heckling. to lecture someone at length in an aggressive and critical manner. Oh yeah, yeah I've, not, I haven't. The been one harangued. guy did do that. The one guy's like, you know, when somebody compliments you, you should be grateful or something like that. So that guy did do some haranguing. Uh, well, I wouldn't call that uh, aggressing against her and being aggressive towards her. He's well, how do you lecture in an aggressive manner? Consider that the, re- that the dictionary doesn't consider— You can consider- lecture in a boring manner or an aggressive manner, I no. guess. Okay, so people don't consider the word aggressive to be the same thing you do. You mm. use it in a culty fashion. Culty fashion. Yeah. yeah, that's your jargon, cult leader. I'm not sure about what jargon. you mean by that. What are you getting at? Because what a libertarian like you and me mm-hmm. believes aggression means is aggression is using force or fraud against someone. Um, mm-hmm. And that's how not else what, do you define aggression? Well, <laughs> you can. How do you speak in an aggressive manner? There are people who are defining the uh, the compliments in this video as aggression. So what it would seem to me is that there's a very serious language problem in the United States and elsewhere that uh, people have really funny ideas of what I words would say. Mean. Angrily yelling at someone could be considered aggressive. Ready or likely to attack or confront, characterized mm-hmm. or, or uh, resulting from aggression. So. Yeah. So, Confron- uh, confronting is not a is not aggressive in the same way that you and I would use it. Yep, I get where you're coming from there. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. When I think of aggression, I think of violence. Uh, you know, the, the threat of violence is underlying. That's something. what we call a threat. Yeah, like aggression isn't. Well, you get to the, you get to the aggression after the threat, right? So you threaten somebody, or someone would be threatened, and but then people the say you speak in an aggressive aggression. manner. And what does that mean? You see, like, I don't know. I and people no say I feel threatened by what you're doing. You may not be yeah, threatening. Apparently, them. some people are feeling threatened by being complimented on the streets. We've got Jim in Lynchburg uh, on the line here. Jim, you haven't yet seen the video, but the comments uh, from some of the men in this video I've actually got here. There's one guy who kind of walks around with her, and he says, you don't want to talk because I'm ugly, huh? We can't be friends, nothing. This guy's, uh, he's saying, you don't speak, he says. If I give you my number, would you talk to me? This guy's just desperate. I mean, he's just desperate yeah. to have a woman who's pretty acknowledge him. He's That's, one of the two guys in the video who I did feel were kind of creepy who were, like, following her he around. He crossed the line, maybe, but, sure. But, you know, the other 20-something incidents here are just, hello, beautiful, have a nice day, miss, that sort of thing. He's not threatening her, though. I mean, he's just sounding like a desperate man. Uh, too ugly for you, he asks her. And then, finally, uh, we go to some other comments. What's up, miss? says someone another says how you doing i don't even think uh, i'm sorry to go have back a nice to it, evening but darling th- th- that guy i don't even think that he was like desperate i think that he was kind of like myth that this girl was just acting so stuck up that he just wanted to tick her off i really think Maybe. that's what he was doing he was like oh you think you're too hot to talk to me well then i'll follow you around for a little while i make you uncomfortable that's the gist that i got from could that. very well be let's so uh, jim you're back with us here uh, go ahead after a little taste of what some of the video has it's about two minutes long sourced from t- uh, allegedly 10 hours of uh, raw footage your thoughts? You know, hey, baby, you know, even even damn, you know, that's, that's, that is neither aggression nor violence. And oh, they're trying agree. to make it. And, I mean, if you look at where political correctness is now, where just smoking a cigarette is now, and where it all was 20 years ago, mm-hmm. it'll be illegal to look at a woman the wrong way when she walks by if these people aren't told to shut up well. and sit down. But Jim, so the, the, but my point here is is that I'm I, I think that the the feminism of today has no aggression, no n- nothing to say about the uh, the the chivalry of 30 years ago. Uh, my mother would have would would never have put up with me speaking to a woman like this on the streets. Like that would have been completely unacceptable behavior. Saying good morning. Uh, you know. When you say like this, what specifically would your mother be upset about? Because I can't see that any motherly person would be upset about good morning. How are you? I'm drawing some conclusions, and my conclusions are that these gentlemen that are sitting there doing the uh, the talking in many cases on the street, sitting mm-hmm. on the sidewalk, um, are not saying the same things to they're, – they're, they're picking demographics and uh, that they're, they're singling those demographics out. 
That's what my guess is. That's um, what a man does. Oh, that's male behavior. You are on the street. A model walks by. You approach model. Even in the chivalrous age, the male is the social aggressor. Okay, we, in, in 1950, women didn't go around. Hey, hey, how you doing there? But okay, when you go in a bar, it's a man who goes up to a woman and says, "Let me buy you a drink." Blah blah, whatever eternal lines you want to come up with. That's male behavior. These people are making it illegal. Well, man. it's not illegal yet, but that's what they uh, thats what they apparently want to have happen. We haven't really even looked into the right. organization. I want to talk about them coming up here, too. Thanks, Jim, for the call. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Now, Mark, you used the term heckling. Uh, the Merriam-Webster definition is uh, to heckle, think- to harass, and to try to con- uh, disconcert with questions, challenges, or, or j- jibes. That Got sounds uh, completely accurate in this case. I, I, I as a... Um, as a so you're total saying you failure think this is of a comedian, I've had to deal with a couple of um, hecklers, right? I, well, I okay. So I want to make sure that we're clear on what the term is. People use the, har- the word harass in the same way that they use the word aggression. They use these terms loosely. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I think it fits the loose definition of harassment. It doesn't fit the legal def- definition of harassment. So, so you, that's you why I have wanted to use. I, that's why I want to use the term hassle because I think, I think that it is it, it is hassling to say good morning. Well, if if what world do you the live question in? is uh, the que- I think the point that he's trying to make is the person's perception on the receiving end, right? That they're walking down the street, people are saying things that they don't want to hear, and whether fine, it's put some earplugs in, right? But I'm just saying, I think the point that he's trying to make is that it's unwelcome for whatever reason. Is that does that is that accurate? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Fine, you can say it's unwelcome, but to label. Some of the things that are said as harassment is ridiculous. I think he's trying, that's why he's trying to get to the term hassle instead. He's just looking for something that expresses the, and I'm sorry to speak for you, Mark, but like it seems to me that he's trying to find a word to describe unwanted uh, mm-hmm. from the perception of the receiver. Is right. that? And the one thing that I haven't been able to point out, I've been trying to do for segment after segment, and that just, I, I really think that you should consider how that's, that what that says about you and your communication styles, is that I haven't been able to say that in New York City, I dropped my wallet once. Mm-hmm. And a guy comes up behind me going, hey, hey, hey. And I ignored him. Yeah. And he came up to me, and he got up in front of me, and he handed me my wallet back. Good. So That's what you get for ignoring people. I'd just like to point out that this system that I have has its it downside. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Your system sucks, too. My system of being courteous to humans? No, no wait a what second. What are you talking Ian, about? Ian, I've walked with you. You've been very rude to me tonight, you by the way, and I don't even appreciate it. You know when people are talking to you on the streets of New York. I've been with you there. You're so in your own world, you have no clue that people are trying to get our attention sometimes. I don't it, know what you're talking about. I know about, you man. don't. I know you don't. <laughs> I've talked to plenty of people on the streets. That's fine. I'm glad they got your attention, but I have seen instances where you have no clue what occurred. Okay, well, there's a lot going on on the streets in New York. Indeed, it's not there hard are. to be distracted by so other why things. why should I be blamed in any way, shape, or form for choosing to just, you know, because I don't have headphones on, I'm just not going to pay attention uh-huh. to what's going on. Uh, well, I'm not blaming you. You can treat other people however you want but if i know someone's talking to me then i'm going to acknowledge them like a human being you choose not to because well you're kind of rude about that i guess <laughs> 855 450 free you can take control here on free talk live it uh, it's free talk live i love my magic mud i drink a lot of coffee i had stains on my teeth then i found my magic mud and i was told it would remove stains so i paid attention when i brushed the first time my Magic Mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. How many good people procrastinate? When was the last time you updated your last will and testament, your living will, and your health care power of attorney? Yeah, white, if you could get these documents pounds, included with your Legal Shield you membership know. for no additional charge, wouldn't it just make sense to have the peace of mind of owning a Legal Shield membership? Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. What's that? Oh. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. 
So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kids' education, my money, my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis? Battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin? Any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too. Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. The toll-free number is 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm and uh, reach out to us. Talk about whatever happens to be on your mind. The bulk of the discussion here tonight has been about this 10 hours of walking in New York City as a woman video where they cut up uh, 10 hours of footage into less than two minutes of what is purportedly harassing behavior by men on the streets. Uh, Mark used the term harassment earlier, but his me his message tonight has been kind of mixed on how he feels about this. I say this isn't harassment at all. It's not even it's not threatening in any sort of way. She's not even indicating that it's unwanted. And even if it was unwanted, she's just walking by these guys who are saying things like "Good morning." I mean, the worst thing that's said in this video is "Damn." I think. I mean. That's about as bad as it gets here. That's, that's the worst thing that's said, but of course, you know, there's the two guys who followed her, which I did think was, you know, out of line. Other than that, this is so stupid, this whole yeah. entire thing. So we're going to get back into that, get your thoughts as well. Coming up. Antiwar.com has the answers. Antiwar.com has the facts. Antiwar.com has the readership. What Antiwar.com doesn't have is a pot of gold. The war machine has the magic of the Federal Reserve's printing press and the mainstream media. All antiwar.com has is you. The antiwar.com staff is down to a skeleton crew with minimal pay. They're committed to keeping the website up with the best of the worst of all the bad news. But they can't do it for free. They can't do it without you. They need your donation. Please go to antiwar.com and donate or call them today. They proudly and gladly take Bitcoin. Antiwar.com slash donate because war is the health of the state. 
Let's go to Andrew. He's in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Andrew, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian, Chris, and Mark. Hi, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Go ahead. Um, I just wanted to I, – I learned from you guys that uh, Rob Bliss created this video. And uh, just uh, because I am from Grand Rapids, Michigan, if you type in Rob Bliss, Grand Rapids, Michigan, you can find a little bit of his history. I'm not trying to walk down the conspiracy uh, thing, but he is like a viral video guy. Oh, good. And, um, yeah. Well, I, I said whoever did this like, is skilled. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he launched like 100,000 paper airplanes during, we have uh, what's called Art Prize. It's the largest art prize competition here in Grand Rapids, and uh, it's one of the world, world famous, I guess, for that. My hope he all his liberal those friends of... condemned him for killing all those trees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, he launched uh, you know these airplanes off building, and he currently owes our city, uh, uh, the people calling them the South the city of Grand Rapids, a couple uh, thousand dollars for uh, like the biggest water slide in the world that he created uh, here, and he also did like the lip dub uh, Grand Rapids video. He owes so them a thousand dollars for a water slide. About eleven thousand. Uh, if you type in Rob Bliss Grand Rapids, it should be one of the top articles you, you find uh, uh, on MLive.com. Did they find uh, him for creating a water slide? Is that why he owes owes them money? I'm confused. <laughs> It's it's uh, he had like cops do security and paying them overtime and renting out certain facilities to do that. I guess. Oh, so he he it. acquired the services of the state and then failed to pay for them, leaving that on the back of the taxpayer. It sounds like. Yeah, he's not well, a good guy. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm just saying. I'm not trying to say that maybe this video he made about New York City is a conspiracy, but uh, if I wouldn't put it past him <laughs> to possibly doctor things up or make things a little bit more spectacular. Interesting, Andrew. Thanks for sharing that tonight. Appreciate your call. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Now, do we know if this Rob Bliss guy is one of the people behind Hollaback, or did they hire him uh, to make this video? I did not look into this guy personally myself. That's the first time I've heard uh, him and Derek are the first people who have uh, you know, brought the gentleman's mm -hmm. name to my attention. But I did. I looked at the website of the organization and sort of attacked them. If you search on there for legislation, I mean, there are there's a couple of things where they were applauding. Uh, there was a thing. It, uh, they were sponsoring EU-wide, European Union-wide legislation to make you know street harassment illegal and we see what they deem to be street harassment that you know people saying hello beautiful is some kind of a crime that people should be kidnapped off the street for and this is the kind of legislation that these people sponsor now in europe things are a little bit different on the streets uh there i've seen video of you know women walking completely naked now i don't know how legal that is but i presume it's generally more legal in a lot of places in europe you're than talking about be. the feminine gals no, no, not. I've got a story about Femin, though, tonight. You mean I just, just mean casually like a, walking like around naked? Prank. Like as a prank. Like, okay. uh, hey, there's a hot woman. She's walking around naked to get people's reactions. That they kind could of do that in Brattleboro, video. Vermont, if they wanted to. They could do to. that in Brattleboro, Vermont. But there's a lot of places in the United States where that's not going to be uh, looked on upon as okay. I'm sure there are places the, in Europe where government. it's not okay, too. I'm not saying there aren't those places in Europe, Mark. I'm just suggesting that maybe Europe will be a little bit more sexually open. The responses of people on the street was more of amusement than offense. Um, you know, generally Europe is known for having more sex on television and uh, in movies and things like that. So Certainly. This, I, it seems that they're, the European culture is more open to yes. that sort of thing than American culture. So, However, it's also like a thing that there's, uh, I think there's a great deal more like feminist influence in Europe too. So it's one of these things that they all sent a woman to go walk down the street naked and then demonize people for looking at her sexually or something. Well, that wasn't happening in the video I saw. It was just, you know, people's reactions, and they were all just amused by it, right, that it was a funny thing that this lady was naked. Uh, it didn't seem as though people were being upset by it. My point there was that, uh, you know, in Europe, maybe this would be more acceptable by the people who are observing, but I had to wonder, like, if there was a naked woman walking around in the United States... Should she be offended as well if people are staring at her? No, I think in that circumstance you're uh, you're, you're really trying to draw attention. Mm -hmm. um, so what's interesting about this video is is that they, I think they picked the actress well, and I think they picked the clothing well. So they picked clothing that was revealing of the woman's shape without being revealing of her flesh. That's true. It's very right. it's black clothes. Yeah, is what so she's slimming, I guess, is uh, is the idea or whatever, and. Uh, you know, I mean, you can expect if you walk around naked or even in a bikini in downtown, if you're walking around in inappropriate clothing, 
that you're going to get looked at, mm-hmm. right? Like if she had a clown suit on, people would be likely to look at her. If she was dressed up as the TARDIS from Doctor Who, people will look at her. But she's wearing black clothing, and it's just the shape of her body that makes her interesting. And it's interesting. Yes, and this comes back to the point I was making earlier about, hey, look, this is one of the prices that you pay being an attractive person. And it's not just women. Well, everybody, there are attractive men as well. Yeah, but I don't think men deal with the same stuff um, as women do. I'm willing to go out and say that you're going to deal with different things depending on your looks and your age. There's beauty privilege. There's age privilege. Yeah. There's sexual privilege. There's uh, you know gender privilege. There's color privilege. There's all that stuff. I'm, I'm not trying to dismiss it. Should but we be you, checking our privilege? Privilege mark is that but what you're trying to say? If you want the one, and I can, and I'll bet you, let's go around and ask a bunch of ugly chicks if they want to be beautiful. Mm-hmm. That if you want the one, you've got it to take the other. Stuff, yeah. Life doesn't give you an option to get the good and leave the bad. Right. I'm sure Brad Pitt would like to walk down the street and not have people say hello to him and ask him for autographs. Sometimes there's probably yeah. some times where you just want to go to CVS and get something or you know whatever and not be mobbed by a group of. But that's people. like fame privilege if you know what i mean and and the, and the, the there's certain of things that you is. expect uh, that's all that's what yeah. i'm pointing out here there's certain things you should she expect. could wear a burka now i'm not she saying certainly she certainly could she has to wear a burka she would also probably get attention then too in a different way she might um but there's look uh, pff, uh, women know how to dress themselves in order to get tension attention and get less attention mm-hmm. they know how to react oftentimes this is something you've got to learn uh, women learn this really early on they have to this is the crucial this reminds me of, of being the, attractive. The whole first world problems meme. Absolutely. Which, uh, you know, people complain about how tough their life is. They are well fed, they're air conditioned, they're living in heated homes, and, you know, the first world problems. And now problems. you can't talk to me. <laughs> well, right. I mean, this is this is like pretty girl problems, right? Like, yeah. oh, you know, I get all my drinks for free. I got my job. You know, I, it's easy to keep it. I don't have to do anything really if I don't want to. And I get all these benefits. Men are offering to take care of me left and right. Uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine set, used to wait tables, and she used to have old men constantly, often enough to where it was noteworthy, offering her to just come move in with me. Yeah. You know, she was in her early 20s. They were in their 70s. And uh, they wanted to just have her move in and take ca- and they'd take care of her. Yep. yep. You don't get that if you're not an attractive uh, young lady. The toll-free nope. number here, 855-450-FREE. You can take control here. Share your thoughts. It's Free Talk Live. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. America was built by people with a few dollars and a dream. And while many don't know it, there's one path to success that still only requires a dream and about $10. That's right. If your dream is to start or grow your business, something as simple as the right business card could make all the difference. And today at Vistaprint.com, you can get 500 full-color business cards for only $9.99. That's right. Only $9.99. Just go to Vistaprint.com and enter promo code 8989 at checkout. That's Vistaprint.com. Promo code 8989. Hi folks, Ronnie McMullen here for Life Change Tea. Healthcare is a problem, whether you're for or against Obamacare. It's a mess. My question is, who do you trust? Do you want to be told what to do, or do you want to make your own decision? My opinion, preventative maintenance. Keeping your colon clean is preventative maintenance. A little exercise, a balanced diet, and drinking Life Change Tea. It tastes great, and it helps with constipation, high cholesterol, liver problems, acid reflux, and much, much more. And with the holiday season upon us, you can get some extra tea for free. Don't wait for Obama. Make your own decision. Order now. Call us at 928-308-0408. That's 928-308-0408. Or you can log on to getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Ridding yourself of harmful toxins is truly preventative maintenance. Getthetea.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. 
I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency, and Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, and spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com. And enjoy the features that we share with you there. So once again, that's freetalklive.com. And uh, the toll-free numbers here are brought to you by ProXPN. It is a global virtual private network that encrypts your online data. And that means that your internet service provider, who probably is snooping on what you're doing online, they will no longer be able to do that if you're using Pro XPN. Go and get their software. It's free uh, for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, Android devices, all available over at ProXPN.com slash FTL. If you are a, an, a Linux user, setup's a little different for you, but Pro XPN also works with Linux. Get the details at ProXPN.com slash FTL. Now, when you're ready to upgrade from the free account to premium, You'll get unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world that you can access. You can privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites. Plus, ProXPN doesn't keep records of your online habits at all, unlike your ISP. Now, you don't change your ISP. You can use ProXPN anywhere on any internet connection, and it protects you from snooping. Plus, you get a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Use these codes to get some sweet deals. Uh, FTL50 will get you 50% off the price of their annual account and also uh, FTL BTC will get you 62% off on that annual account but you have to pay with Bitcoin with that code so it's codes FTL 50 and FTL BTC we go to Pete listening in Long Beach Pete you're on free talk live welcome aboard Pete Pete they ought to be hung by their neck till they're dead uh, the Bible. Whoa, whoa, slow down. It, we missed the first we missed the first half of your sentence. You just want uh, it sounds like you want to hang somebody. Who do you want to hang? Go start again, please. The feministas ought to be hung by their neck till they're dead. Okay, the fem- know, the feminists. Not a way to solve a problem. I mean, if you don't like oh, what- oh, 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 I beg to differ. The Arab world does it all the time. We used to do it, you know? But see, we tolerate this stuff. I have never so have no hung anyone uh in my entire life, Pete. I don't know about they you. Don't know. Well, I well, you know I can what? appreciate I can, hang on so so Pete I can uh, I can really appreciate your distaste for feminists. Uh, I, well, they're I, disgusting and they ought to be hung. Well, I don't know I don't know about hanging them just yet. Let's talk about that. Maybe you can convince me, okay? Because I really do think that they're terrible, terrible people who are advocating a great deal of violence in society. I think that they're a serious problem. Pete, you having a conversation there or something going on in the background? Drive through. 
Yeah, I'm giving some uh, advice to somebody on where to find an apartment in this burg. Hey, how about this? Okay, here's the reality. The Bible says no victim, no crime. So it doesn't matter if they're looking at her or making comments to her. Unless they physically cause damage to her and her property, they have to shut their mouth, you know? I'd, I'd, I'm not sure that the Bible is where the no victim, no crime <laughs> quote comes from. Oh, but... oh, oh, I beg to differ. That's common law, baby. Judeo-Christian common law. But that's not you the Bible. Know? It's but yep, it is. The one to others is you want done to yourself. Galatians six seven. Well then, well, then, then why stop hanging you, people. Then, yeah, then why do you want to hang uh, gay people and stuff? Because they should be stoned. You know, he means, <laughs> But how do you, you know, get? Then, how do you go from no victim, no crime to stone the gays? Because they're the ones who are the victimizers, and they want to make what? politically correct. Who are the? But wait a minute. Who are the victims of gay people? All of us. If God says it's wrong in the Bible, it's so, wrong. So there's there's the collective. Okay. So I mean, then, then, then just get away from the no victim, no crime thing, then, right? I mean, let's just be consistent here, Pete. They're criminals, so they're criminals, so they need to be put down. They don't have a right to go. You're sick, dude. You're so sick. Doing. But let me I'm try to sick, let me try to work with him. He might please. have a gem here if we if we try. So I mean, I, 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 good luck, Chris. I don't I don't think that I know this is ridiculous, <laughs> but I have to give it a shot, right? Come on, Ian. I'm trying to be yeah, yeah. more like you. I'm trying to see the best in people and stuff. So, so Pete, you know what I what I admire about Pete is that Pete really cares about the things that he believes in, and I and I want to I want to coax a little bit right of now? intelligence out of him. Come on, let's go, Pete. Are you going to have a conversation with us right or whoever it is your your dinner yeah, date well, is? Okay, well, you know, oh, you got jokes. Is that right? Well, you know, no. what about a you little bit? You weren't even paying attention, others, Pete. You, you know, yourself. Chris Cantwell I was trying to have a conversation with you, and you were just ignoring him in Anybody favor of— Anybody who starts a conversation with Hang the Feminist is somebody that I want to have a little bit of a chat with. Right. I don't necessarily think that we should be killing them, but yes, they are violent, dangerous people who are doing terrible things in society, and there, there needs to be something done to stop them. Now, I'm not sure it's to the point of hanging them yet, but I want Pete to make his case. I'll make my case. You know what? The Bible says you're to stone them to death. It's called sodomy. Any unnatural sex is called sodomy. They Wait a minute. No, no, we're, this, talking no, no, about we're not talking about gay people anymore. We're talking about feminists. What does the Bible say about feminism? They're the same thing exactly. It's a lesbian thing. It's a demonic uh, spirit that is unnatural and trying to take So you believe that feminists are order. lesbians just across the board? No. You think they're all lesbians? I believe it intertwines, and it's something that's demonic. They're demonically possessed, and they're disgusting, and they're against God's natural family. Oh, whenever right. I've I tried. seen, I tried. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> I tried. No, no, no. You, you guys <laughs> not, got not your chance. Yet. Okay. Okay, Pete. Deuteronomy, Leviticus, Numbers. These things have lots of things that are against the law. Tattoos, well, you know marking what? yourself for the dead, um, you know, rounding your beard, eating shellfish, uh, cl things with cloven hooves, uh, wearing fabrics that are mi mi wearing mixed fabrics, a whole variety of things. Uh, not honoring your father and mother. Do you think that we should also enforce all the other Ju uh, former old four thousand year old Judaic laws, or is it just specifically the gays that bother you? Well, the gays and the feminists. It's not just them. Any, it, uh, you made fun of when I said drug abuse is idolatry. There's a law against all that stuff, and that isn't to restrict us. Do you want to hang people who eat shellfish? I mean, that's really what the question is here. You can't, you can't equate the two. Should they Why, be not? That, Why not? Well, that's there good. Were, God there were certain things in the law that you were killed for, uh, as opposed to okay. being unclean look, and put out of the city for a while. Okay, but look, don't I'm don't not uh, I, I'm not claiming that I know everything from some old stupid set of rules from four thousand years ago. Oh, like, you're gonna, you're going to live to regret that. Because you're going to get gonna stoned you now, eat. bro. I, I'm not going to regret it. Okay, it's I don't have to live stoned. a yeah, life <laughs> plagued by this old superstitious nonsense. You're the Only one who's going to have all the regrets now. Now, the oh, point. Oh, is that right? Absolutely. My question to you is listen, sir. My question to you is do you want to enforce the old rules? I don't care whether you want to kill somebody for stonefish, uh, whether for its, uh, excuse me, for shellfish. Whatever the rules are for shellfish, are those the ones we have to follow? We need to follow all of the King James Version or nothing. And if you don't like it, you know what? You want to know why all this stuff happens? Because people don't care about it. They think, they, oh, we're progressive. You know what, you know what they're going to deal with that? Romans 14, 11 through 12, baby. When was the last well, time you right. ate shrimp? You know, shrimp? Paul never even met Jesus. Are when, you aware of that? When was the last time you ate shrimp, and how long should you be cast hell. out of the city for? You know, you can. it says in the Are Bible in Timothy that if you receive it— 
like you receive it with thanksgiving, it's clean under you. But all the blasphemy statements you say, do you support the feminists? You ought to be lynched wait, too. You wait, know? wait, wait. So you're saying did, that you, you like you like to receive then? Is that what you're telling us? Pete? You're either you're either yeah. for the Bible or against it. If you're against it, then you should be executed. I don't know? even know what the Bible is. <laughs> Pete. Executed. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is executed. Pete, the Bible maybe. wasn't put together for 300 years after Jesus. God well, came well, to maybe. Earth. Wait a second. God came to Earth and didn't do something so simple as to write down on a napkin his name. Like there's nothing written. Oh, oh, oh. But come on, he's tired real from drowning the planet, dude. And the reason why you don't know what the Bible says, maybe there's a reason, because you're all a bunch of drug addicts, homosexual. Get, uh, <laughs> get liberal, hanged. Uh, you get hanged tonight, boy. That's right. I'm not a so drug addict. You know I'm not a homosexual. Not I've crap. read the Bible probably yes, in more detail than you are a drug addict. You, you are using... You don't... He's using drugs right oh. here in the studio, uh, Pete. I'll have yes, you know. I'm a nicotine junkie, as it turns out. You and don't... I'm also addicted to, like, nootropic drugs that are making me able to write <laughs> hey. again, so... What do you want, Pete? Well, if you don't, who do you want to kill now? All or nothing. What? Who don't you want to kill? Well, any uh, my brothers and sisters in Christ. All my Jesus loving friends. But this is what I don't you understand: is the Bible. You're, you're saying gonna meet him. all or nothing. This doesn't make any sense to me because the Bible it's wasn't put together. Does. It doesn't make any sense because it wasn't even written until well after Jesus died. It was voted on by a bunch of Catholics. Why do you support that? It's a damnable lie. Yes, it is. <laughs> 300 <laughs> years after Jesus died because there were two theories as to whether Jesus was just the Messiah or whether he was the Christ. And this is it's a damnable lie. It's not a damnable <laughs> lie. You don't know anything about Christian history. Is all you're going to do it's is read some lie. stuff out of the Bible and interpret however you want. You've never you've never spent any time reading Josephus. You don't know anything about Christian history. You've never <laughs> read any books that surround this. Well, he knows he wants to kill some people. He's though. insulated from his He's own. Like, I know everything questions. I know to know about God from Fred Phelps. God, I, I didn't say that, Dang but it. I said that. You know what? The reason why we have this stuff like feminism in our society is because we don't care, and we're going to pay for that. Thanks you for the call, Pete. Britain, All right, well, I'll, I'll pay for another time. Yeah, I uh, wow. I tried. You did try. And it's fun. I mean, look, I enjoy these things. And, you know. If, oh, I enjoy Pete's calls, too. He's crazy. He yeah. Is, he is crazy. But he's absolutely right and... that the feminists are terrible. They they are an indication of the degradation of human society. They they are a, a drag, a waste of violent, Maybe evil that's influence. True. And... I mean, I, I think that, that, you know, certainly that's true on some of their parts. I think other people are just involved in feminism because they think they've gotten, you know, they've had a tough time in life. Maybe they have been discriminated against. Yeah, and against. some people get into the Church of Satan because they're not popular <laughs> in high school. I mean, I don't know what to tell right, you. We're coming up here in moments. It's Free Talk Live. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Talk radio generally and Free Talk Live specifically are a really inexpensive way to reach customers. All advertising is about return on investment. If you keep your investment low, you have a better chance of seeing a proper return. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations and the internet, reaching hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, October 29th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,230, silver at $17.25, and Bitcoin is trading around $353.77. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest, most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online, shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. In the news, the FBI has reportedly searched the home of a federal contracting firm employee suspected of being the source of documents recently provided to Jeremy Scahill, Ryan Devereaux, and The Intercept. Michael Isakoff reported for Yahoo News that the FBI has identified the whistleblower and that federal prosecutors in Northern Virginia have launched an investigation into the situation. The existence of a second whistleblower was first noticed in late July as a 166-page document related to terrorism watch list was released through The Intercept. The Obama administration has decided to appeal a ruling by a federal judge regarding the release of a classified legal opinion related to the U.S. government's telephone surveillance programs. In August, U.S. District Judge Yvonne Gonzalez Rogers of Oakland said the government did not have to release rulings from the secret FISA courts, including the names of telecommunication companies that have cooperated with government surveillance. However, Judge Gonzalez Rogers did order the release of a Department of Justice opinion on Census Bureau data and the NSA. On Monday, the Department of Justice appealed the decision. The Electronic Frontier Foundation and the American Civil Liberties Union have sent a letter to the Williamson County Board of Education in Tennessee, stating that searching of electronic devices and controlling of students' social media posts violate their constitutional rights. The board's policy allows school authorities to search electronic devices brought to school and to monitor and control what the students are allowed to post on social media sites. Although the board states that the policy is intended to protect students and adults from obscene information, the ACLU and EFF say the policy is broad and oversteps the school's authority. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. Support also comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, October 29th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. A review by county prosecutors of drug arrests involving the Ferguson police officer who killed an unarmed 18-year-old man has led to the dismissal of a half-dozen felony cases. A spokesman for St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney Bob McCullough said Tuesday that six felony drug cases involving Officer Darren Wilson won't be prosecuted, mainly because Wilson missed several court appearances after going into hiding following the death of Michael Brown in early August. The drop cases include a felony marijuana possession charge against 28-year-old Christopher Brooks that was thrown out on Monday after a judge had agreed to put the case on hold when Wilson missed a late September preliminary hearing. Wilson had received a Ferguson City Council commendation for his role in Brooks' arrest. Biotechnology Corporation Syngenta faces three new class action lawsuits from farmers after Syngenta's genetically modified corn hybrids contaminated the Chinese corn supply, resulting in millions of dollars in losses. Farmers in Illinois, Iowa, and Nebraska filed suit shortly after two of the country's largest grain exporters, Cargill and Transcoastal Supply, filed similar lawsuits. The legal actions are related to Syngenta's GMO corn that began selling in the U.S. in 2009. In November 2013, Chinese officials found traces of Syngenta's hybrid corn in shipments from the U.S. The Chinese have since rejected U.S. shipments of corn. The farmers say Syngenta is at fault for the rejected corn and for the financial losses. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show, at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat, 
for Wednesday, October 29th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. A Rasmussen poll reveals that nearly all American voters share a deep fear of botching another election, with most voters admitting that selecting candidates for public office is something they're historically just not particularly good at. I really hope I don't completely f*** things up as usual, but you never know, things do happen. According to the poll, three-quarters of voters said Election Day panic would cause them to base their vote entirely on hearsay, while 93% acknowledged that they only recognized names of local candidates from signs along state highways. In Cedar Rapids, Iowa, stunned friends and acquaintances expressed shock and disbelief when a body found in the woods turned out not to be Justin. Local residents found the naked corpse draped over a tree stump Saturday, and as news spread, many found themselves struggling to comprehend how it wasn't Justin lying dead in the forest. I heard the news, and I still can't come around to it. I just can't imagine that it's not Justin there lying dead in the woods. Are they absolutely sure it's not him? Friends and family are still urging authorities to double-check the body, or at the very least, bring in Justin as a suspect. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We will take your calls about what you'd like to discuss. You just dial in toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733 as we launch into the third hour of the program. Plenty of time for your calls and thoughts. Still haven't yet talked about Hollaback, uh, which is this organization that is behind this new viral video that's uh, now over 9.4 million views on YouTube. It's pretty darn viral. Of and that's in less than that's in about 24 hours time. So yeah, it's it's it. You know, it was uploaded yesterday and it's gone pretty big. Uh, it's hitting all, all over the place. Facebook people are discussing this. It's been the bulk of the topic uh, here tonight on Free Talk Live. It's called 10 Hours of Walking in New York City as a Woman." We'll as get, a woman. We'll get back. <laughs> At least as an attractive woman, uh, <laughs> we'll get back into that discussion here in moments. Let's go to the phones here. We've got Dave in Nevada. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Dave. Hey, guys. How's it going? What's on your mind tonight? So, um, as you guys all know, because you've actually all been on it, I have a small, you know, internet show that I do on Block Talk Radio. Um, and, of course, last Wednesday, and I had you on, and... As uh, with Block Talk Radio, it's set up where if somebody calls in, whether it's to listen or to actually call in to talk, you can see like their number on the board there. Um, so as we were doing the interview, I had noticed a uh, number on there and I thought it was a 603 area code, which I thought was New Hampshire and somebody from uh, New Hampshire was listening. And then in the middle, I saw that uh, you can – basically the way it works is if someone wants to show that they want to talk on – come on the air, they just press a button and then it flags it. So you can just see like a little flag next to it. Otherwise, you can just see the number with nothing. Okay. So I saw the flag there. So after you know we had finished, you can uh, 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 scan the calls as well. So I went to break and played you know, whatever. And I answered the phone, but I, I kind of thought, you know, to be honest, it, it just, for some reason, I, I thought it was a, a uh, I just had a feeling, a bad feeling about the call, I guess. So I picked it up and, you know, I kind of went, I think we went back and forth a couple of times. I was like, hello, you know, and I heard a hello back. And then, you know, finally I, I, I hear this uh, kind of creepy uh, voice there that's, uh, you know, asking me, uh, oh, I, I have a question for you or something like that. And um, that wasn't a good uh, impression there. But, and, you know, so I, I knew right away who it was. So I had... Um, and who was it? Get well, to the I point. Was gonna, I was going to get to that. <laughs> well, it, it was, <laughs> it was a, a caller from Arizona that calls all the time who he asked me um, what... He said, I want to come on the air and ask you a question. I'm like, well, what do you want to ask me? Because I knew who it was. And he had said, well, I want to ask you what Free Talk Live means to you. I'm like, okay, what, you know. Did he did he go on it? to tell you about Japan or something afterwards? No, surprisingly not. Uh, he, he started saying something about Ian. And then I just said, you know, I wasn't going to bring him on because I'm not going to, you know, go through that whole same thing there. And 
I just told him, you know, basically he said something about I'm not showing the other side of stuff if I don't bring him on. I'm just like, you know what? If you want to come on the air, you know, get your own show, you could pay, you know, actually Talk Radio will put you on for free. Exactly. So it's like if you want to do that, you know, go get your own show. But what happened was uh, he stayed on for maybe a couple minutes and then he was gone. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to, you know, see him again. He so just, wait, he wasn't on the air. He was behind the scenes. You and like you, you screened his call. Yeah, and we're I talking about James call. Witt at this point is what I'm assuming. So go ahead. Yeah, this yes. is a frequent caller from uh, from Arizona. Go ahead. Very angry gentleman. Yeah, and, and he sounds very creepy. And I know he's probably listening right now, but on the phone sounds even creepier. Seriously, uh, he does sound like a serial killer. I, <laughs> That's uh, you know what I always well, thought. I'm not saying serial it. killers don't sound like serial killers. Yeah, I don't know That's what how a they serial get their killer. victims <laughs> out their killer. creepy little vans and dissect right, right. them like some deranged Dr. Mengele project. Somebody in a bad like B horror movie that would be calling somebody like that kind of uh, thing. But so you know, I thought Play I'd never Misty hear from him again. He's what? Yeah, he's <laughs> fava beans and a nice definitely a, obsessed there to a certain extent. But um, so the next day though, he didn't press a button to come on or anything but he listened to almost the entire show because i saw him there it's a pretty good show thanks so um now i guess you know i thought having ian on it would help you know to get more people to listen and get me more fans but i got a fan <laughs> that i really didn't want so, uh, yeah. <laughs> ian brings with him all of his adoring the entourage <laughs> so uh, what you're saying is that uh wit who frequently calls her james from arizona uh who frequently calls this program has now tuned into your show what's your show called uh nonpartisan liberty for all and so there you go you've got a new fan and a new listener <laughs> yeah. and, and a good, and I, a good I, thing about james though is like if you if you don't have content just bring him on and he'll just talk <laughs> you just put the phone true. down <laughs> go make something to eat come back 15 minutes later i mean yeah, you need to cover break. the entire mm-hmm. segment yeah hey thanks well, i don't the- want to give him the <laughs> forum there to not, not that i have you know obviously he comes on free talk live you know all the listeners you guys have i don't have you know that many listeners but it's entertain just, them I, by making fun of james i'm telling you yeah know, the the, I, the lrn amplifiers group loves when i talk to james you're just <laughs> gonna treat them really badly and your listeners will go crazy trust me hey thanks for the call tonight dave thanks, appreciate guys. hearing from you the toll-free number is 855 450 free there are a lot of people who are like chronic talk radio callers we used to have this guy uh, who we called scott the bigot and we haven't heard from the guy yeah. in probably two or three years now uh, two maybe two years and this guy was really prolific caller to free talk live i mean he wasn't nightly but there were some times where he would go and you know and call nightly and anyway he always had something bigoted and racist uh to say and he <laughs> actually wasn't that different from pugnacious pete who called earlier tonight pete's sort of like he's probably worse than scott the bigot honestly i mean pete I don't remember Scott the Bigot calling to hang anybody, at least on a regular basis. Especially not in, like, the first word of his right. phone call. <laughs> I mean, Scott the Bigot was bigoted. He didn't like anybody besides white Christian males. Like, this guy didn't like, you know, white Christian females either. Like, he was just bigoted all across the board. Yeah. Um, Pete's did he, probably did he hate bad. gay people, too? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so definitely. But not as bad. Like, he wasn't as just nasty. Wasn't as vitriolic. Yeah. If, he, if he hates as, women as so much, then I imagine, you know. But you were asking the question, I think it was off the air, Chris, is like, does Pugnacious Pete call other talk shows and talk about his hatred I'm uh, certain of on this. these other shows? And there's a lot of these guys who, that's what they do. Like, we had listeners uh, report to us that they would hear Scott the Bigot call other shows. <laughs> so they knew, for it wasn't just speculation that he was calling, listening to and calling other shows. That was absolutely what uh, what he was doing. And some of them would let him through. I, think, I guess one report was that he called the Stephanie... Uh, that Miller, liber- liberal girl, yeah, Stephanie Miller, uh, her show, and they talked to him for a little while. So, I, you know, I wonder, you'll wonder how many other shows uh, these folks. I, call I'm into. certain that they're trying. I mean, I was a pretty frequent caller into like conservative talk radio. I had the Sirius XM Patriot channel in my car, and mm-hmm. I would often listen to it when I wasn't listening to Opie and Anthony, and I was in the car. I'd listen to conservative talk, and I and I'd often chime in or at least attempt to. I suspect these people who are just like looking for some avenue to spew their hatred love free talk. Live because we will actually we'll we take basically them. take all the callers yeah. and stuff like that. Whereas 
you know, you call into these other shows and they really want you to be saying something that helps the host to do what the host is trying to do. That's right. And they're a lot more discriminating and they will hang up on you. They will let you say the first thing and then they will hang up on you and then respond to you and you can listen to them on the air. And, you know, we're actually like, hey, well, what is it that you're talking about? And try to have a conversation with these people and people who are looking for that avenue. Uh, you know, Free Talk Live offers them something that they are not getting anywhere else. It's no certainly question true. about it. Which is the reason why I created Free Talk. One of the reasons why I created Free Talk Live uh, was because I used to be a talk show caller as well and was always frustrated by the fact that talk show hosts wouldn't take calls on the topic they didn't want to discuss. Right. You know, they they come to the table with a topic for an hour, sometimes for, uh, you know, one per hour, basically, is kind of how things tend to go. They come to the table with a topic and they've done some level of research about that topic so they feel comfortable talking about it. And if you stray outside of the area in which they are comfortable and researched, then you're a danger to that talk show host because you'll exactly. make it look like right. they you, don't know what they're talking about. As a talk show host, you have to look like a know-it-all. And by a know-it-all, I mean the way the way a good know-it-all looks. Now, I look like a know-it-all, but I'll often get caught flat-footed on this mm -hmm. show because, you know, know-it-alls can't possibly know-it-all. We'll come back with more. You can share your thoughts on anything at 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country, with a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers. How can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. 
This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Dial toll free here, 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We've got a website, it's freetalklive.com, and so do those other talk show hosts, but ours is free. And you can go and you can download episodes of the show. You can get interactive with other Free Talk Live listeners. You can submit content right to the front page of the site and uh, then vote on it. You vote on what you like. Vote up if you like it. Vote down if you do not. And you can do it all for free over at freetalklive.com. Is privacy dead? Not if we have anything to say about it. On November the 7th and 8th, it's coming up really, really soon. Coders. Privacy specialists and idea people of all stripes will join together for Hack the Trackers, a transparency and privacy hackathon brought to you by Ghostery. You can enter online or join them in person in New York City to create tools that make the web a much more transparent place or help users manage how much data they share. The hacks will be judged by experts and voted on by an online community. Winners will receive a prize package including the all-new Black Phone, a secure by design smartphone for people who recognize a need for privacy and want a simple, secure place to start. Participation is free and registration is now open. Visit hackthetrackers.com for more information. It's hackthetrackers.com. I right. want to go to that. You should we do should, that. We should we should convince them to pay for me to go <laughs> and then I can and then I can come back and talk about it. Why don't you just call them up and say, Hey, I'll talk about your event on my show if you give me a free ticket. Yeah, well, I think it's a free entry thing is what I understand oh, about it, it, but I want them to so pay to for my travel. There. I want them to pay for my gas and my tolls, and if I get a ticket to pay that, you could talk about that me too. out of jail if I get arrested. Good luck with that. Drive the speed limit. Hotel room and a hooker and some cocaine. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. Christopher Cantwell with us. His website, ChristopherCantwell.com. He's sure been blogging. Is. He's been sober. I've been I've been writing again. I'm, I'm, uh, You're I'm, a quitter. I'm uh, I'm alcohol free. I shouldn't say sober. I actually smoked some marijuana the other day, and that okay. was that's All a right. little weird for me. It is unusual. Um, and I started taking like uh, nootropic drugs. Like I started nootropic? taking nootropic. Is nootropic? Uh, Rapture said they were no etropic. Whatever okay. it is, the N O O tropic. Uh, One thing it's not. Apparently, we were corrected on this. It is not nootropic. We were pronouncing it nootropic. Yeah, I was and saying. I was saying that. nootropic originally and you know whatever um i'm reading words and brain so, drugs as brain they called. drugs so like i wanted the nzt 48 from limited list but that's a fiction as it turns out it's a fake okay. movie uh but i ended up getting a thing from um i don't know if i should say them maybe you should try to pitch them yeah first. i probably shouldn't say that so there's uh, i got a free trial free trial meeting i paid three dollars for 10 tablets of this thing and it totally snapped me out i've been in like a funk my my readers know about it you know i had some like relationship stuff and i drinking very heavily and depressed and stuff and i wasn't writing i haven't been writing almost at all for the last like four or five months and uh i'm back at it again i knocked out two yesterday i knocked out two today and i hopefully uh you know hit one out of the park tomorrow and Keep on producing content. I'm back. I'm firing all on all eight again. Awesome. ChristopherCampbell.com. Go and check more of him out there. Also, you only have eight? Let's go to uh, the phones and your calls and thoughts. Will is in Tallahassee listening to... And you can see me at Keenvention this That's weekend. That's right. WVFT. Hey, Will. Hey, Ian. Will Dance. Uh, just wanted to tell you we still love having you on our station. Excellent. We get calls all the time on my morning show talking about the the free and open discussion. And, and you were talking about frequent callers and limiting callers. And, and honestly, when I was blessed to have my own show, I kind of modeled my – now I'm in morning drive, so I've got a little different format. I mm-hmm. have to – at least I feel I need to get a lot more news content yeah. about – you know, stories and stuff like that. And yeah, I, morning and drives about news and information. I mean, the most traffic, and weather. I, and, I, and, I, and I always say stay in the wheelhouse. But I took your model and I said, as long as I'm on the air, 
my phone lines will always be open. And so I, I try to encourage our, our listeners to realize that talk radio, and especially programs like Free Talk Live, in, in an, an era of media that is so scrubbed, that is so filtered, that is so – I mean, you give a uh, – you know, I did a, a, an interview for an article for a local paper here, and it was an hour and a half long, and they took three sentences. You know, you go on yeah. TV and they, they edit you down to an eight-second soundbite when it's a six-minute interview. Yep. And I encourage our listeners, and I, know, and I know you guys do too, and you champion it. This is the last place on earth, excluding the Internet, where your actual voice can be heard unfiltered. Now, of course, barring FCC guidelines of yep. what you can and cannot say, uh, you know, of profanity, but this is the last beacon of real conversation. And I want to say thanks to you guys for being champions on the forefront and, and, and helping guys like me have the, the courage and wherewithal to say, okay, you know, because program directors, as you know, Ian, in, in radio, they don't like open phone lines. They, that mm. is, that, that scares them to death because they're afraid of the, like you guys have been talking about, the, the frequent lunatics. You just have to have a, a, a good call screener. My producer, Buck, is phenomenal. And, uh, and we have, our, we have uh, Tim the Drunk. He'll call in six minutes after we come on. I don't know how the guy we got Chris the Drunk life. right here in the studio. <laughs> He's not drunk. <laughs> it's, oh, it's good the that sober, you have the drunk no, no. people calling in during morning drive. That, that, shows, <laughs> that shows that they're really dedicated. That's, that's a dedicated drunk there. <laughs> Oh, fellas, he's calling in at like 7 minutes. We go live at 6.05 a.m. Eastern, and he's on the phone by 6.08 talking about what's made him mad. And my producer's like, how does a guy sustain a blood alcohol level like that? He's got he's oh, eating his not. Cheerios, and he's just got Jack Daniels in the bowl. And it's... <laughs> hey, but, Will. But other than that, yeah, it's, a, it's a great format to, to, to allow people to, to really have the, uh, uh, I agree. their last shot at a voice. Thanks you know? for the call tonight, man. I do appreciate hearing from you. Yeah, I mean, one thing's for sure. He's right. I mean, on talk radio, and certainly on our show here, uh, you'll get on the air. You'll get the chance to say whatever you want to say, and it won't be edited. The only thing that will cut out is if you say F, S, or you know, some other thing you're not supposed to legally say on the radio. That's the only thing we can edit out. We do have a dump machine for that purpose, but that's the only time it's ever utilized. You will get to say what you want as long as you don't use certain words. Right. Uh, you'll get to say it. You won't be edited out. The content will not be stopped, and our call screener won't screen you out. I mean, I don't know what Will's policy is on his show. It sounds like he's doing open phones. Right. Uh, but, you know, f as far as, like, being a good call screener, we don't care if you're any good. <laughs> as long as you can pick up the phone and take people's name, you know, where they're calling from, and basically what they want to talk about, I'm fine with just one word. You don't have to get into – like, a lot of talk shows, they want you to tell the, – they want you to tell the call screener – everything you're going to say yep. on the air and if you stray from what you've told that call screener they will cut your call in you know mid sentence if you start going off yep. on some other topic or tangent or something like that that's how it works on most talk radio we don't do that here we will take your calls about anything the toll free number is 855 450 free and you can join us via Skype our Skype username's lrn.fm glenn is in philly you're on free talk live hey glenn Hello, guys. Good to be uh, with okay. you, Glenn. Well, you you guys are generally a little you know a little more tolerant than many. And a lot of talk show hosts really love the sound of their own voices and don't like uh, contrary you know contradiction. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, although you did tell me I could t call in and take over the airwaves, and when I tried, you informed me that we're the guys with the microphone. That sounds like Cantwell. I was going to scold no, him you about can, that. You can, absolutely. You can, you can control the airwaves until we're tired of it. And hang on, we'll bring you back here in a moment here. 855 450 free. But you don't control, like, you know, the elements of the show. You know, you don't control the music beds. You don't control the, uh, the advertisers or things like that. You only control the topic on Free Talk Live. That's what you can do. And you can call in about anything that you'd like. Toll free number 855 450 free. This is Free Talk Live. There's more coming up. Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. 
This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Keenvention is coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, attend social events like the costume party. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, James Robin Hood Cleveland, Rich Paul, and Free State Project President Carla Garrick will be keynoting. And we'll have all kinds of panels, including the new Cop Block panel and the new Movers panel hosted by the outlaw Josie Wales. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Are you a sneezer? If you're not, can you get close to one? I don't literally mean someone sneezing. Sneezer, as defined by marketing guru Seth Godin, is an opinion leader. When a sneezer mentions something, other people catch what Godin calls the idea virus. Seth Godin says some people are more likely to tell their friends about a great new idea. So identifying and courting sneezers is a key success factor for idea merchants. His book, Unleashing the Idea Virus, is the most downloaded ebook in history, and you can download the whole book free. That's how he's making his idea contagious. Click tips, tricks, and other stuff to help you cut through the clutter at www.survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Dial in right here, toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Still want to talk about this Hollaback group. We never really got into... Who they are, what they're doing, what's their you know, purpose. This is the group that's behind the release of this viral video that has become quite the topic of conversation on uh, Facebook and other places, Twitter, etc. Uh, online, over 9.4 million views of the 10 hours, as it is called, 10 hours of walking in New York City as a woman. But it's more accurately called 10 hours of walking in New York City as an attractive uh, woman and uh, you know is it a is this a feminist group what do they want we've got their mission statement and i will share that here in moments but first we go back to your calls and thoughts want to remind you though if you want to get some gold and silver please check out gold.freetalklive.com it's a great destination for uh, for people that are interested in getting real uh, alternative currency that holds its value historically over time gold and silver when compared to government fiat currency, has done a very good job of keeping the person who's holding that gold and silver 
keeping them up to inflation rather than you know being passed by by inflation having the government just continually inflating the money supply and having you become victim to that process gold and silver helps insulate you from that it helps protect you uh, from that historically it's done that very very well so you can go to you know, just ignore the ups and the downs of the day to day of gold and silver and look at the long term picture on it and you'll see that that's that's a true statement go and uh, get more get some over at gold.freetalklive.com there's actually a phone number mark that you just took away from me if you don't mind uh, giving that, or I can give it here. Uh, it's 877-857-9938. I've got gold.freetalklive memori- uh, gold.freetalklive.com memorized, not the phone number. 877-857-9938, whether you want to order by phone or online. The folks over at Midas Resources will take care of you. They've got great gold and silver pieces at uh, the right price as well. So gold.freetalklive.com. Glenn is back with us. You're back on Free Talk Live uh, in Philly. Go ahead with your thoughts, Glenn. Yeah, I um, before I do the lady in New York um, thing and the feminism, uh, two quick sphere busters for you. Um, uh, it's colloquial, not colloquial. Colloquial, and, um, okay. And, 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 collo- colloquial, yes. And a harangue is 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 like a, a nagging diatribe. Mm-hmm. You know, it's always a harangue, and somebody's going on and on and the. You know, lamenting and grousing and rah, 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 rah. I'll, I'll cop to incorrectly on on using that word earlier. I think that the yeah, one yeah, guy, um, like you can, you can use anything with artistic license, and this one guy in the video sort no, of follow. No, you can. Yes, you can use artistic no, license can. on anything. And the point I was no, trying to you make. Can. Y- you can't. <laughs> no, no, you can't. Do this man walked behind this woman for word. several. For you know, for quite a way, sort of explaining to her why should she should pay attention to him. Oh, 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 okay, yeah. No, okay, now, for, for about this thing with the, uh, okay, in terms of feminism, okay, I, what I just want to say, I, I, I don't know if you're aware, but people often these days talk about se- first, second, and third generation feminism. Yes. First, first generation feminism is something that I was completely in agreement with, and most people don't even know what the ERA w- is or was, and even when it was being voted on. I thought that was second people generation. Right? The first generation feminists no. are the ones who want the vote. Uh, okay, if you want, you could push it back. You could do that. Okay. But, like, up to and including, I think they sort of parenthetically put that all in first generation. But, okay, it, it doesn't matter to me. It's, uh, but the point is, it, ERA, it was a very, the Equal Rights Amendment was just a short little statement. It was, like, very few words, like 40, 30, 40 some words that said that a woman performing equal work as a man should get equal pay. That's about it. And so I had no problem with that. Now, second-generation feminism— Yeah, but I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I no, find no, that, no. Yeah. I want to go back to that one. You're not getting away with that, pal, because the fact of the matter is that if, if women are basically in the same position as a man, if they're, if they're never married, never had kids, that sort of thing, they they actually do get paid uh, actually more in a lot of cases or equal. You, well, you can— you, Right, right. Whether that, I'm, not talking about, I'm not talking about the outworkings of that in society. I'm just talking about what the Equal Rights Amendment— but the Equal well, Rights Amendment, you know, the idea behind right. the whole equal pay for an equal day and this I, stuff, I mean, it's 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 propaganda. It's I, economic nonsense. Well, yeah, right. It, I understand. And a lot of people are on to that and holding forth on that topic. But that's not my point. <laughs> my, 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 my point is second, and second generation feminism is where you have women um, striving more in the, in the corporate world and in business and professional world to break the glass ceiling and have you know have you know girl you know power women to be empowered you know um, as as women and uh, not you know not to be seen as as you know weak or something or you know le- you know uh, less powerful than men or whatever. Now, third generation feminism I find totally morally reprehensible, and that's where you have women using their sexuality. Um, in you know, uh, to demean this is this is the, the big anti-male, um, you know, craziness that we get into these days. When women say things that you know, like men are all men are rapists, or um, or using female sexuality to dominate men, or uh, you know, to do to, to defeat men. It's aggressive, and it's it's not it's not 
that doesn't have redeeming social value. It, it's vehement. It's right. angry. It's nasty. Uh, feminism and has I, devolved I really don't into stand that. feminism has devolved into what you're talking about. It's it's devolved into sadly right. man hating. And then the 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 other people that call themselves feminists trying to explain that no no feminist isn't these maniacs that have been, that have are you know troubled and damaged over here. Feminism is equality for everyone. But I have a real problem with just the term because when you say feminist. You're, you know, if if I was saying, um, you know, if I was calling my group the women-hating paladins of justice, you wouldn't think that I wanted <laughs> equality for everyone. Feminism in its term means that we have to raise women up to men's levels, so therefore says that somehow no. when, men and women aren't the same. No, not necessarily. No, if you just look at the suffix ism, you know, what, what an ism is, you know, it's, it's actually more often academically used in religions term where they talk about isms but i mean uh, and and something that that's an ism has to do with you know the study or an emphasis an emphasis on something it isn't necessarily sure you know, but how can you have uh, equality uh, when uh, you uh, emphasize uh, women because uh, <laughs> equality was never the goal you wait, 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 wait you can emphasize Charity for the poor, without saying you want to tear down everyone with, who has any wealth. I mean, you, you sometimes you put an emphasis on some group if, but if, if they're you're, disadvantaged. When you say poor, they, you're acknowledging that they don't have as much wealth. When you say women, you aren't acknowledging that they aren't equal to men. I would contend that three plus no. one is four, and two plus two is four. Those are equal, but not the same. Glenn, thanks for the call, man. Appreciate it. Let's go to Lisa. She's in New Jersey. You're on Free Talk Live. Maybe the first lady to call into the yeah, show tonight. Finally, uh, in a show all about uh, supposedly, you know, this this uh, equal or unequal treatment of women on the streets. Go ahead, Lisa. Yeah, well, I, I was tuning into the Debbie and Todd, Todd and Debbie hour, and I I heard that comment. Uh, I don't Ooh. know. <laughs> you were what tuned, happened with the. <laughs> you, you were tuned into a different show. Is that what you're saying? I was tuning into uh, the Todd and Debbie. I don't know what happened. Oh, Todd and Debbie, they're, they're and good friends of ours. No, they I have no come idea. Over for Thanksgiving, <laughs> and we make sandwiches. I have no idea who Todd and Debbie are. But what were your what were your comments? And you're welcome to make them here. Well, that's why I thought that that they were talking. That's why I called up. Um, yeah, because I like listening to Debbie. All right. Well, we'll okay. if you don't have comments, you want to share with our international no, audience. No, tell us. Uh, you know, what what is it? What is it? What did what did Debbie say? No, Debbie, well, I think uh, her comment with her being on the show, I think the show's great, and I was... Uh, okay, ridiculous. she doesn't even know what show she's by. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> You're trying to salvage it, but... Most of our callers are told by our call screener that they are but calling Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live doesn't have that, the Ian and Mark show to it. Uh -huh. it. It doesn't have that, this is the name of the show sound to it. It, mm -hmm. it could, you know, it's like it... It just doesn't. Usually, it works out like some. Most of the time, when somebody will call this program, and and usually the reason it happens like this is because our network, the Genesis Communications Network, they produce multiple shows uh, throughout the day, and some of those shows use the same phone number we do. Now our number is eight fifty five four fifty free, but or that they come routes, the same phone system that routes to phone lines in a certain studio, and there's other numbers that route into that studio as well that these other shows use. So she was probably listening to some other show using the same studio that airs earlier live, but it was being delayed broadcast where she lived or something like that, right. and thought she was calling them. Usually it works out pretty well. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. coffee.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. 
With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules, regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body. Normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu fighting products. Also explore our Herbal Healer Academy correspondence courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Free Talk Live. Yeah, you know, this would work if there was no government and everything worked the right way. Communism requires central control. There's evidence that the free market works. The marketplace is what has created all of the wondrous things that we have and take for granted in this world. The marketplace is what brings us air conditioning, grocery stores, the internet, all the things that you enjoy, your cell phone, all the things you take for granted. That's not as a result of government. Government slows down and impedes the market. Government restricts freedom and it restricts the marketplace. So, you know, there's evidence that the freer a market is. Look at the computer industry, for instance. The more free and the less regulated a market is, the better the innovation, the better the competition, the better the prices, and the better the quality of the products and the services. I mean, we've got evidence to prove that our economic model is and, sound. And look at all the wealthy people that the computer industry has created. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. 35% of U.S. credit accounts are facing collection agencies. Of that 35, almost 40% are the result of medical bills. Before uninsured friends or family go in for medical treatment, send them to asiarunlikehellguide.com. No computer tracing, no tracking cookies. They will not go on a list. Privacy matters. Just tell us what you need. Get a quote. Fractions of U.S. prices. asiarunlikehellguide.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want. Uh, although if you're totally clueless about what show you're calling, it generally won't sound good uh, when you do that. Most of the time it actually works out. We've had calls uh, call in uh, who thought they were listening to a different show. They called a number that brought them into our studio because it's you know the same number basically between a couple different shows on uh, the network that we're on. And you know half the time we'll just let them know, yeah, that's not the show, but uh, we'll still listen to what you have to say. <laughs> and most of the time it works out. Didn't in that case. 855 450 free. You can't win them all here. By the way, with you tonight, it's Ian. Cantwell. And Mark. Check out more of Chris over at ChristopherCantwell.com. And as you mentioned, uh, Chris, you will be on a panel this coming weekend at Keenvention. I am looking forward to the media panel. I think it's going to be a blast. Mark is heading the panel up. Indeed. Uh, and you were on the panel last year, Mark, so now you get to uh, to head the panel it's up. It's like a promotion. And uh, Or you so, just delegated a bunch of work to me, one of the two. Is it that much work? <laughs> is it really that much no, work? No, it's not much trouble. No, Compared not. to what you do, no. Nothing. That's really not. I mean, uh, putting, a, putting a convention together is work. You know, there's a lot of things you've got to sort of pay attention to. But the nice thing about Keenvention is it's nowhere near as hard as organizing some of these other conventions out there, like at the Liberty Forum, which is the Free State Project 
convention that they do, which is a great convention, I'd like to say. Uh, we'll be there at the Liberty Forum this year. It's coming up in early March. I don't have the exact dates. I think it's like March 3rd. Not all of us will be there. Or other. You guys will uh, be. Yes, Mark and, Mark and I. Uh, have you been banned from Liberty Forum? I am not welcome at any FSP ah, organized okay, events. Okay. Nor do I want to be at this point. <laughs> Scroll. Well, it's a great event. Uh, the Liberty Forum's a lot of fun, and there's hundreds of people that uh, that attend the Liberty Forum, so it's uh, it's worth going to if you love the ideas of freedom and you want to check out New Hampshire and all that. But there's always like three or four different tracks, it seems like, at the Liberty Forum, and there's like, you know, three different things you can attend at any given moment. And from an organizing perspective, that's juggling a lot of plates. Uh, we don't do that at Keenvention. At Keenvention, there's one track. That's it. You're either on the track or you're not. Yeah. You're, you know, you're, you're, you're going to attend the panel or you'll get drunk at a bar, whatever you want to do. You can attend the panel or you can hang out in the back and talk to people. I mean, that's yeah, really basically that too. your choice. You don't choice. necessarily have to get drunk at the bar. You can also go out. There will be plenty of drinking going on likely during uh, the evening hours uh, at Keenvention. But uh, you can also at Keenvention go out of the hotel and uh, you can go Robin Hooding on uh, Friday and Saturday. And you can go cop block uh, in the evening hours. So there's other things to do besides being in the hotel. But if you're in the hotel and you're at the Keenvention official event, there's what's on stage and that's it. And so it, we keep it simple and we focus on activism. We focus on the activists that are here in New Hampshire, whether they be New Hampshire natives, whether they be Free State Project participants or people who are not Free State Project participants like yourself, Chris Camp. Well, you will be one of the media panelists, but it won't just be about media. It's going to be, uh, you know, lots of topics. The first thing to open things up on Friday morning is going to be a legislative panel. So to give you a, a sort of the inside scoop of what it's like to be a legislator, it's going to be headed up by Mark Warden, the porcupine real estate agent. And he's going to have on with him uh, Keith Carlson, who was one of the activists of the year from the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance a few years ago, and also the current director of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, which is like one of the major sort of groups out there. I don't know if you want to call them a lobbying group, but maybe that's what they are. They're, they're out there rating every state representative in New Hampshire, giving them a letter grade every single year based on how they vote. Do they vote in favor of freedom or not? The New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is an amazing group, so you're going to hear from uh, from their boss man if you're there bright and early on Friday morning for Keenvention. And if you are a procrastinator, if you have been waiting and you haven't yet gotten your tickets, you've got until noon tomorrow to get your tickets online and if you procrastinate and you wait until friday then i've got a something i came up with to encourage people to be on time on friday on friday morning because you know nine o'clock kind of early uh we'll be starting on time at keenvention and i always felt bad for the people who were in the first panel you know because not everybody's going to be there yet you know, there's some people who are going to come in midday Friday or Friday night or even Saturday, right? The, the first panel, probably going to be the least attended of all the panels. And so I figure, well, you know, this is also an important panel. I mean, legislative information, this is the New Hampshire legislative system is an incredibly accessible one. It's one of the reasons why New Hampshire was chosen as a destination for liberty activism. This is an important panel. So I've come up with what I call the early bird discount. So if you are somebody who's been waiting and you procrastinate and you miss your chance to buy online, you have to buy at the door. If you get there before the panel starts, if you're there before 9 a.m., so the doors open at 8.30, if you're there before 9 a.m., uh, here in Keene for Keenevention, you'll get the same price as the the pre-order prices. If you wait, if you're if you're late, then you got to pay more for the for the day price, or you got to you know you got to pay like seventy five bucks instead of sixty, or thirty bucks instead of you know twenty or twenty five or whatever the daily rate is. So that is my way of sort of encouraging people to be punctual and actually be there on time to see the very first panel at Keenevention instead of going by Libertarian Standard Time. Exactly. So don't be late. Uh, Keenevention dot info or be late and pay more. Uh, Keenvention.info. <laughs> Go there. It's happening this weekend. It kicks off Friday at 9 a.m., and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go to the phones here. Kenzo is listening in New Jersey. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Kenzo. Oh, yes. Hi. Um, I got the right show. Excellent. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, um, you know, I watched the video, and um, the first thing I thought was that uh, – you know, you had mentioned a beautiful woman, and, um, you know, I know it's all a matter of taste, but she had actually a little bit too Rubenesque. Nah, and um, everybody's the way got she their thing. Herself, what is Rubenesque? Well, yeah, I mean, but, you know, I mean, ah. the way she carried herself, there was nothing really sexy about it. I mean, she wasn't like, 
projecting any kind of sexuality or, you know, approach. Oh, I thought she was unattractive as far as uh, her attitude. Yeah, her mannerisms and the way she was behaving were certainly unattractive. But I mean, if you physically she wasn't um, ugly. I mean, she she had, you know, some extra weight on her that she could have afforded to lose. But I mean, I, I, I would, um, I would, I would. Let me just say that I would. (laughs) I wouldn't call her Rubenesque. I mean, mean, you're referring to the painter. Go ahead. In Manhattan, I mean, you know, we're there. I mean, there's just like tremendous numbers of, of really beautiful women. Mm-hmm. Um, she does not stand out whatsoever. And well, this um, wasn't taken on know, Park Ave, man. <laughs> they wanted to send her. They they sent her through some na- some neighborhoods where a, a larger white woman might be appreciated more than yours. <laughs> Well, it, um, I'm not exactly sure what streets these were, these were on, but because um, I really couldn't see that. But you know, um, the there were a variety is, of them, and know, there was one where she was clearly on Times Square as well. All right. Well, you know, um, Times Square has a, 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 a tremendous number of, uh, of really beautiful women. But the point is, is that the way these guys were approaching her, the only women with any self-respect that would have responded to that was would be someone who was a bottom feeder. And it's you know, absolutely and, and, not and true. It, and the two guys, uh, I don't think the, one of them said good really morning. I mean, on. really? Yeah. Well, you, you, you're a bottom morning. feeder well, if you say about, good morning back or hello yeah, or thank you. One example. I'm saying I'm saying out of the two minutes of the video, OK, most of the approaches were rather uncouth. I mean, and, and the two guys that it's were like walking alongside inaccurate. of her, like following her. Yeah, that's disturbing. That is. That is just out of, you know, that is completely, you know. They wouldn't have done it if she was open carrying a pistol. Yeah, you can't do that in New York City. Well, I, don't think, I, don't I wouldn't think call it uncouth to say good morning to somebody. Why would you say that's uncouth? Or even to say hello, Stop beautiful, you know. One, you're, you're, you're picking on that one example, okay? I'm talking it's, about overall. If you watch okay, the video, there there's t- there's about 20 different uh, 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 incidents on the video, and most of them were Good day, beautiful. Have a nice evening. Good morning. The, most of it God was bless you. really, really, yeah. God really bless mild. You. It was. It was all admittedly that. I still think that they were hitting on her. They uh, were. So what? Hey, it's thanks what they're for the supposed call, to do. The way, they, the way they went about it, there was no. There was nothing. There was nothing smooth about it. The and, people and, and anybody. You I can't disagree. be smooth the, to the somebody walking by. The people who demonize you for hitting on women. That these people will end the human race. I'm telling you, we have to <laughs> breed, folks. This <laughs> is hang not. Em, this is serious business. Well, let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Um, the, the, um, I'm sorry, sir. I forgot your name. The, the, the one that said that you really was said you would go for. Yeah. Yeah. Chris I'm Chris. My name's Chris Cantwell, and I'm a skis. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. All right, if she had gone for any of those guys, right? Would you would you want her then? Yeah, I'd run a train on her. Thanks for the call, <laughs> Kenzo. Appreciate it, man. Toll free number eight fifty five four fifty free. That's uh, you can get on here and talk about anything. I wish we had more time to talk about Hollaback. Their website is iHollaback.org. This is the group that's behind this video. Uh, it says they're move. They're a movement to end street har- harassment. Uh, They claim that the motive of street harassment is intimidation, to make the target scared or uncomfortable, to make the harasser feel powerful. That's not what I saw in this video. What I saw in this video were guys who wanted to have a conversation or at least be acknowledged by a pretty lady in in the hopes of having a conversation. The two who walked with her, I would say, maybe tried to intimidate her a little bit. Everything else, absolutely not trying to intimidate her at all. Maybe, but the guy who walked with her quietly could have just been creepy. I mean, I don't know if he was intending to intimidate her. It might have been. It might have come across as intimidating, but he might have just been really socially awkward. Yeah, Yeah. if he he was like a Free Talk Live listener, we'd call him a creepertarian, no question about it. I think these people were sort of spinning the lotto wheel of life and seeing whether or not they could, uh, you know, get some attention from an attractive woman. Um, If they've got a one chance in 10,000, it cost them nothing to do it. Not intimidating. I don't think it's very classy. Out of time for tonight. See you tomorrow. FreeTalkLive.com, ChristopherCantwell.com. Attention. Have you been in a serious automobile accident? Then you need to call our attorneys now.
We specialize in helping our clients get compensated for major auto injuries. If you've been in any type of car or motorcycle accident and you've been seriously injured, you may be entitled to significant financial compensation. Our attorneys have recovered millions and millions of dollars for injured clients. There are no out-of-pocket costs to you ever. We only receive a fee when we win your case. We are available 24-7. If you've been in an accident and been seriously injured, make this free call to our attorneys attorneys now. Call the Personal Injury Center at 800-648-9173. 800-648-9173. 800-648-9173. That's 800-648-9173. This ad is paid for by participating member law firms. We are not an attorney referral service. Representation may not be I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Cop Block Radio is up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, October 29th, 2014. Silver is trading at $17.20 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,226 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $350. Antiwar.com reports the U.S. war on the Islamic State in Syria, when it hasn't centered on the offensive near Kobani, has mostly been a war on oil. Airstrikes have pounded oil wells and refineries across the territory of the Islamic State, which is also primarily oil-producing parts of Syria. It's been couched as an effort to cut off funding for the Islamic State, but the oil wells and other infrastructure being targeted are actually privately owned, and the attacks are badly damaging the civilian economy across Syria. As winter nears, prices are soaring, and not just on fuel. Knock-on effects have raised the prices of almost everything, including basic food. The prices of grain are no doubt also affected by U.S. airstrikes on grain silos in the north. Even though the oil-rich east has been lost by the Syrian government to the Islamic State, much of the oil still finds its way back into Damascus through smuggling. The Islamic State was doubtless getting a cut from that smuggling, but it's not the only one paying a dear price from the U.S. attacks, and with a lot of its finances coming from taxation and extortion, the Islamic State is probably much less affected by the U.S. air war than the ordinary Syrian. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. CNN reports a medical marijuana advocate turned writing candidate for Rhode Island governor has garnered instant social media attention by smoking what she says is cannabis in a campaign video. But her media stunt comes with a more serious political message about cannabis legalization. In the 90 second video, she says, I'm Ann Armstrong and I'm going to be the next governor of Rhode Island and I hope that during my tenure I will be able to dispel a number of misconceptions about cannabis use. Armstrong, who says she smokes cannabis every day, uses it for medical purposes, and also argues that it helps her focus and communicate with people around her. In the video, she takes a hit off a pipe after insisting that cannabis users should not be ostracized or marginalized. She says it doesn't make people crazy.